Yeah, I'm gonna be late. Yeah, I'm the same way, dude. We're here at uh, Compound Media on uh, April, uh, August 14th. Began with an A. August 14th. We're here with Gino's Bascante. Uh, hey, buddy. Gino was gonna fill in for me today. I was. Yeah. <laughs> I had court, but then my court, like, so I was panicking because, uh, you know, I, I couldn't switch the time and whatever. And and um, so my court was at one o'clock today. They're not flexible with court dates involving children. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> so my court day was at two o'clock today and uh, or no, one o'clock today. And um, I talked to my lawyer last week. He goes, he said, well, you know, they can't switch it because they said you already called and switched. I'm like, what? I didn't call and switch. I think what happened was the guy I got in a fight with found out I did a podcast. I think he switched it to a Monday at, at oh to fuck at you one o'clock to fuck me because and, and who and and both of your listeners. And That's three people with one switching of the court date. Oh, so anyway, <laughs> this motherfucker. We found our new Hitler, and people are worried about Charlottesville. Oh my oh, no, god! No, you do. You do it. You know, it's ready to go. Thank God, Gino, because I got nothing. Hold today. on. Let me have a little. Let me have a little coffee. <laughs> Oh, we are ready. What are you drinking? It's not important. You're a real pro. You're a fucking pro. <laughs> I saw you do it like a Twitter thing where you're like, you like, you told somebody, told, hold on, while you're doing, yeah, a, that's, that's you're a, doing a Sunday brunch shot. No, me and Berg uh, went out for steaks. No, the that was before that. That was like last week. Yeah, you, I could have been breakfast. You told somebody to stop and you could see, it was clearly like daylight and it looked like brunch food. I think yeah, it was like was a having, Sunday. I was having brunch with someone. In Chicago? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was. Uh, oh, that's right. I, I'm in Chicago and they have a shot called the, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the give you a shot of oj a shot of jameson and just three strips of smoked bacon no uh, hell yeah john knows what i'm talking about and what time what's that ti what time i said the only thing that would be better if this colored person wasn't sitting next to me but you can't <laughs> you can't oh my god and people think i'm racist no no they weren't at the restaurant they smelled the bacon these people love ham you they said to really say do. this stuff you were saying <laughs> you no, i wrote it for you <laughs> We're scripted. No We're scripted. Yeah, there it is. But honest. There it is. There it is. Honest to God. There it is. And that's a day. That's not definitely not the, at night. Yeah, that's see, it. that's it. I'm drinking the JMO. That's OJ, and it's bacon. It is so. Uh, that was the elephant and castle, uh, right before the. Cubs. Wait, that you get bacon, a shot, and a little glass of OJ. Yeah, and I have a. See, see how they're still skimpy with the OJ, even when they're. <laughs> They got to make a, like a shot. They just disguise it all to. That was so less for me little... to throw out while yelling. What am I a? No, but you know how you always get a little glass of OJ? Even when they get, even when you're doing a shot, they're like, you don't want a lot of OJ. No, maybe I do. Maybe to wash down the fucking shot. You the burning fucking bridges with the state of Florida, my Poison. Friends. Anyway, no, they did. You go to a diner, you go, can I, the, can I get the o OJ? And or the large is like eight dollars, and it's still not even a large glass. Why are like, you getting orange juice at a diner? No, oh, OJ is not that expensive. You buy it at the store, it's not that expensive. It's about the same price as milk, a little bit higher. But they act like it's fucking liquid, fucking gold. <laughs> <laughs> and it's outrage. I get you get outraged. I get outraged uh, when I go to get some breakfast. The other day, I was at the fucking uh, TGIF at the airport. I was getting their breakfast, fucking uh, taco breakfast. Right. And the guy goes, uh, the guy goes, you want OJ with that? I'm like, I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> I'm traveling coach, so I don't want breakfast. I don't want OJ with my fucking three it, tacos it would be in cheap. Texas. It would be cheaper. It was delicious though. It would be cheaper. No, because it's like it's like when you go out on a date and you go, they go, would you like some wine? You know, you're you're gonna get fucking raped because wine's twelve dollars a glass. So if you don't drink, you you, you end up spending nothing. Sometimes you just it's, eat. You've never tried that. What eating? No, just not drinking and just eating. Could you imagine? Ah, this guy, this guy's hilarious. <laughs> imagine. Where, where does this go when we put you on stage, Brennan? Where imagine, does this? Imagine if he goes to Wendy's and he's like, "Can I get a beer?" They're like, "We don't have beer," oh, and you you storm out every time. You got to do that on Facetime, or what do you call it? Facebook Live. Yeah, I don't that's know. what the kids are. The kids love the Facebook Live. Anyway, so then they, so the court thing was this. Let's let's let's. Uh, you got into so, a fight fight. No, you don't even know. Everybody in America knows. Even Obama knows. I've been drunk on a bender in Chicago. But you said uh, uh, doing the Laugh Factory, my good friend Curtis Flagstrom. Uh, no, you just said fight, and and that's all I know. It wasn't a fight, fight. You just I said got fight. I, I got into a little altercation with somebody in the lobby of my building. So that's how he found out where he found out a lot of info on me because he he knew where, he's your neighbor. No, he's not my neighbor. I live in a big building. I don't live in a fucking uh, shack like you do out in Astoria with like twenty roommates. Eight roommates in East Harlem. And how many people? How many? How many units in the building? 
It's a four bedroom. We each have a bedroom. There's oh, how many units in three, your whole building? Three floors. Three floors. It's okay. an old walk up. Okay, right. I don't live in an old walk up. I live in a fucking modern building with modern people. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I don't get into a fight with any of my few fucking neighbors. No, because you don't have. Oh, a it's weird. I don't have a court date. You don't have a you lobby. Don't. You don't have a lobby to fucking. Uh, uh, we have a big order. side yard where they play Mexican music and offer me a Modelo every Friday you're night. Gonna, I'm sure you're gonna meet your wife there. Anyway, listen. <laughs> anyway, there was a thing. There were. Oh, my huh? wife's in a timeout right now. <laughs> so we were having a little thing in the lobby, and a guy headbutted me, and then so so what? I think so Don't I think he's over the headbutt. Everybody knows I can't I can't tell the story another time. We'll tell you on break when we go to commercial break. John, you have commercials John on this? Tell. Yes, you I'm doing well. I'm doing well. We don't have commercials. We just have live reads for BlueApron.com. You can get three free meals now if you Is go to BlueApron.com/i.h.w. <laughs> can he even do that? <laughs> so um. So that's what happened. So, so I think that, and then everybody, the guy, I think the the land, the 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 doorman told him my name and where I lived, and so, so he, so he fucking, uh, he's the cops came, they didn't file a report, but he filed, he filed a complaint against me. So I got to go to court. So I think he knew. I think he might have known I had a fucking show at this time. Because when else do I have to be? I when I during the day. I'm not really in demand during the day. No, except Monday not at even two, your wife. At two o'clock. Okay, right. so he got a Monday clock, Monday Monday one o'clock time, and it's it was uh, whatever. So then I switched it. So they switched it to September. Oh, nice, dude. So now I'm off the hook. Now uh, the guy headbutted me. We got just into a little... tell me what precipitated. Because anyway, I'm sure there's a few new ones. Please for me. What precipitated you giving someone a headbutt? It was Father's Day, of course. <laughs> it was a little hot. These are all true. It's all true. It was a, there was a there was a mur there was a fire. The fire alarm went off in a building. I knew it was a I knew it was like nothing to it because. Uh, it had been going off all day, intermittently, whatever. They didn't evacuate. All of a sudden, the guy, the doorman, who's an idiot, says, we got to evacuate the building. We come downstairs, and the fire trucks are, are leaving. So, obviously, the fire the fire trucks have been there for a while because they don't they don't just come and go. They, they The firemen, they got nothing to do. So, when they go somewhere, they stick around. If there's donuts, they stick around even longer. So, they stick around. So, they were probably there 20 minutes at least. So, in the, while the firemen were there, he told us to all come down, even though the firemen know there's no fire because they also knew the fire alarm was going. They just wanted to get away from their kids on Father's Day. They also knew the fire alarm was, they're not volunteer, okay? I live in a real city. So, yeah. I, so they also knew that the fire alarm was a sham. And anyway, so I'm I basically after the every after the smoke cleared, pun intended, after the smoke cleared, <laughs> after the smoke cleared, um, I was yelling at the doorman. And so this other guy who was like hanging around the, the lobby said, you know, I, he, I think he did the right thing. I said, it's not your business. It's not your business. Let me talk to the doorman who's an idiot. Why isn't it his business if he lives in the building, too, though? Because I was telling the doorman what an idiot he was. Oh, and you were saying, oh, that was between yeah. you and the doorman. Yeah, I so it, I'm I like, oh, I, so it's not his business. Let me just tell the doorman what I think of him because I've been, it's like, it's like the Wizard of Oz when I've been trying to tell his lady what I've been thinking about her for a long time. Remember the lady on the bike? Anyway, uh, the Wizard of Oz? Remember she said the big speech? She's like, I've been trying to call you this for a long time, the witch, the mom, Dorothy's aunt. Well, you're a fucking idiot. Anyway, <laughs> John, the, do you remember? Where's Lenny? Remember? I don't remember that. I remember you had the answer yeah, the whole you know, time. right? Garen knows what I'm talking about. When the when, Ellie! When Annie Ellie's shaking her head. When Annie M was saying to she the She watched the Wiz. She likes Annie to go M, mud shark. When Annie M was saying to the to the oh, witch wait, before we knew she was the witch, she was just a lady on a bike then. She goes, I've been trying to tell you, Miss Gulch, or whatever the fuck her name was. Are you an idiot? Everybody knows that. Find that clip if you can. <laughs> If it's you know, and maybe you have to film I've it. seen a movie seventy times. You've yeah, this lady. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. This is before we knew she was a witch, and this is the beginning. Oh, and are she you an idiot? You watch everything drunk. You don't know the Wizard of Oz. I don't watch the Wizard of Oz. As a kid? Were you drunk as a kid? No, I didn't watch this as a kid. Me and my parents watched It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. My uncle played the game. Can you keep a secret? The weird thing is, once I got bad at the game, we couldn't play anymore because he oh put his God. finger in my hiney. I'm kidding. Uh, I never really watched The Wizard of Oz. Since what do you mean you didn't watch? It was on every Easter. You didn't watch. You didn't have CBS. Every back Easter, then? I watched the Ten Commandments and rooted against the Jews. Why are you watching? The Wizard of Oz. Where's yeah, your well, Moses now? We had one TV, and there was a. We had one TV, and that's what we watched. We 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 took a vote, and we would whatever the vote was. I'm guessing Brady Bunch, Wizard of Oz. I'm guessing anyway, your brother. So I'm guessing said, your brother Neil's votes votes counted more than yours. Well, Neil was like three at the time. You idiot! You're such a hack. You're a bigger hack than. I thought that was really good. 
No, it's a, it's like a hack thing to bring up Neil. You just uh, made a joke about cops and donuts, and I'm a hack. Come on. Yeah, we're at 15 minutes in. You're already bringing up Neil. First of all, Neil's in town, so I could, I could just find him. I'll tell you he's not in town. Fuck out of him. I'll tell you he's not in town. Who? Your brother-in-law. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fuck it. oh my god. You're like drunk and. Like I, I'd be, I hate to say it, but I think I'd be better off by myself today. No, buddy, we're hanging. Oh, out. I know we're I'm hanging. Gonna be good. Watch this. So anyway, uh, uh, so anyway, the guy. So it was his aunt on the bike the whole time. Right. No, you don't. You guys know the scene. I, I do. Right? But I never where used she, to... where she, where she berates her. She basically says, "Cause they're gonna take the dog and have it killed." At the beginning, I say. Yeah, I and then, then she goes, she goes, uh, Miss whatever the fuck her name is. I've been trying to say this to you for a long time, right. but I'm too much of a Christian to say it. Whatever. It's a famous scene. I've done it in fucking monologues. So now I played Auntie M. So fast forward. Now you're having the same conversation with your doorman. No, see, you got me confused. So anyway, so I'm telling, I'm basically saying it's not your business. And then uh, the guy, the guy kept jumping in. He kept chiming in. So finally, I just went at him. I just started walking at him, you know, like chest to chest, like, like you got a problem. I don't even. It's not even my character. I was about to say, it's I don't my know. podcast character, but it's not my my day to day character. So I, I'm at him. I'm like, you got a problem? And like I said before, he started backing up. So I'm like, this is working. Like I'm, re he's really backing away from me, and I guess I, maybe I'll shut up now. Then as he's backing up, and he's probably knows what to do, he's got my weight going forward, and he fucking headbutts me. Oh, you said you headbutted him. No, I said he said I said the head butting. I didn't say who butted who was the okay, buddy. Okay, I'll go back and look the at the tape. But I, I, my fault, my fault. But that's okay. It's always your fault, Gino. <laughs> well, well, Aaron don't even like you. He tells me he don't even all like the time. You. He hates me. He says that I was watching the episode. <laughs> oh, I mean, he don't like you. So I, I mean, you guys are a good team, but he don't like you. It's I a know. Fact. He was saying that at, at our steak dinner repeatedly. But then the cops came. Oh yeah, you guys go out like a couple of fucking uh, uh, Oscar and Felix. Do you know that reference? You fucking idiot. You remember the odd couple? No. Did you watch that show? I love the odd couple. Da, 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 da. Yeah, right. da, did your uncle let you watch that while I was giving you a fucking salad? Uh, it was clean. You, what do you call that? Bossing salad. Bossing salad. I'm not, I'm not ready for the show. <laughs> What's that? When he was cleaning your salad? Mm. <laughs> That's so funny. No, but anyway, so uh, you guys went out for it. That's a beautiful thing, though, right? It w just worked you out celebrating? great. Celebrating? Like, he, he had a spot early near where I live. I was off, and I'm like, yeah, I'll meet you for cigars. And then he does one more spot. He's like, I have three hours to go. I'm like, let's go get steaks, dude. And he's like, I think it might have Is actually. Two of you? I think it might have been his idea. He's like, let's go get steaks. I'm like, let's go get steaks, dude. Just the two of you? That's the two of us. And you guys talk while you're out together? We were just, we were, we, it was a rehearsal for the podcast tomorrow. <laughs> In Hot Water, Tuesdays, Compound Media, two to three. 30 ish Berg's always I was chastising Wait, he's him late he's late oh, he, he gets there every time around what he gets there around like 315 John 320 Why? because he drives because he hates me and he can't spend a full no, but everybody minutes. everybody here in New York who drives I go like I couldn't find parking you know what I mean and and people take the subway they go well you know like you did today today the six train was a little backed up it's yeah. like yeah we well, you know it's gonna be back no up. no that was code because I had a lot of I had a lot of uh, tacos for uh, dinner last night the six trains a little backed up Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so what'd you do this weekend? <laughs> if I say I'm having trouble with the N-word train, that doesn't mean I'm on the yellow line, right. Kevin. Oh, my God. I don't, I don't even know all this code. The N-word train? Uh, this weekend, you I did. take the N-train, don't you? You live in a store I take like whatever. every other hack? I live in East Harlem. Oh, that's right. I take the six to the yellow. Um, I did shows. That's the new, that's the new Astoria, right? I don't. East Harlem? I'm telling you. It's, there's a big. It's probably cheaper, right? Yeah, dude, yeah, it's great. <laughs> It's great well, for, for people me, like Harlem. Us. You can go to a, you can get to. I always thought, why not live in Astoria? Because it's close to the store. I mean, it's close to the Laguardia. If you live in Astoria, but if you live in East Harlem, that's close to Laguardia. I too, live because you just you get the M60 bus, or you just get the fucking cab right over to take the Uber right over to the dude Tribro. Dude, you take the. Uber. Am I right, dude? It's a twelve dollar Uber from my front door to Laguardia. Oh, no, it ain't. Yeah. Okay, I'm lying. I always feel sorry for these Uber guys because they, you know they don't make any money. Uh, that's the guy, the, the guy, the guy Uber, he picked me up at Newark yesterday, and then uh, he don't have Easy Pass. How can you not? I was have ready easy... to fucking berate the guy, but luckily, almost unluckily, I didn't get to berate him because uh, he he. When we got to the uh, toll, there wasn't a lot of people there, and I was I was mad that You're I was getting I, ready I, to get angry, but you yeah, couldn't simmer long I enough because the line wasn't long. No, there was only three people. 
But who doesn't, Uber or not, who doesn't have easy pass? Who doesn't have, so I was good, but again, he was probably African. So, I mean, like my probably doorman. African. No, no, because he was dark and he had an accent. So my doorman's African. My door, nothing, nothing's anything wrong with Africa, except for the, the AIDS spill, you know, spreading AIDS. <laughs> God's justice, what? So, uh, but my doorman's African and he's an idiot. Like, it's almost like you, you just assume, you don't assume, you just assume they have different customs. Like in Africa, they probably don't have easy pass. So he's like, I don't need easy pass because they don't have it in Africa. So this guy with the doorman, you ask him for a package and uh, well, you don't know about this because you don't have a doorman. But if you have a doorman, this guy, everybody else gets the package in like a minute. I don't even, I don't even get packages. My wife gets them or whatever. Oh, your wife gets packages. <laughs> yes, she does. Especially when I'm out of town. <laughs> You, it's, All sizes. It's 15 minutes. And this guy, when we when we when he first got in there, he was real shy. He was like the shy doorman. So he would always look down at, at whatever he was looking down at. Maybe his big fucking African cock. But anyway, he would just like walk, let anybody walk by. It could have been like a great skit where just anybody's walking in the building. But he was too shy. So even if you'd be like, how's it going? He'd be like, oh. And then when he finally got his confidence, it turns out he's an idiot. <laughs> so this guy at Easy Pass, I was ready to just go like, how you don't have a fucking easy pass? I thought you pass? had to because have he, easy pass. No, if you I drove thought so Uber. too. So he goes to the thing, he gets the ticket. I'm like, oh, I'm like getting warmed up. I mean, that's up. what like, they told me when I applied. <laughs> of course. I mean, you're you're so close to Uber. It's it's not even funny. You would Uber, but you don't have a car. You don't. But you don't. Have, you have a, like a 1989. 2000. You no, know, you need like a 2006 or higher. 2012 Chevy Sonic. Oh, I love that car. It's a. You ever see Goodfellas? It's a coupe. No. I love that car. I, I don't know what that movie is. Actually, a, a anyway, patch. You don't know The Wizard of Oz. I don't know Goodfellas. I'd rather know. Well, anyway, the guy, the guy gets the ticket. He gets the ticket. I'm like, this motherfucker don't have easy pass. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm just, I'm like, I can't get ready. wait. You're getting your I'm ducks like, in I'm gonna be row. like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I know, I'm, I can already hear my wife going like, why don't you just let it go? Why you just let it go? As, as I'm ready to just fucking unload on this guy. That's so, what your wife says to me. Why don't you just let it go? As I'm ready to unload on this girl. Why don't you just let it go? <laughs> this girl, she's let a woman. It's really clever. I'm banging her. John, John, <laughs> I'm unloading the package <laughs> delivery. Garrett. Oh, my God. Garrett. <laughs> it's great to be here for my final appearance on Burning Bridges. I'm enjoying it. So you're getting ready to unload on this guy. Why don't we just switch seats? <laughs> because I'm having so, so uncomfortable in that fucking I'm having so much fun. sidekick chair. <laughs> okay. I'll be a sidekick it. now. Ready? Go. No, go on. I don't like being a side. I don't even want to. I don't want to do the show. I'm still fucking. I got this. Still got this cough. Is I was coughing this all weekend. Fun? Who's having fun? Who's having fun? Booth is having fun. I get paid either way. I don't give a shit. <laughs> so then I'm on. The, I'm on the plane. You want to hear a good story about the plane? You never unloaded on the guy. What guy? <laughs> you were getting ready to unload on the guy. No, because he they, he paid cash. But then I'm like, why is he paying? And then I, that's even dirty because then then it's like. First of all, I, did, I when I looked it up because I was gonna, I I tried to complain about the guy. Then when I looked it up, I'm like, if if he pays with Easy Pass, it automatically goes on to to the fare. But if he pays cash, it, he's paying cash. He can't add it on to the did fare. He get like, a receipt? Yeah, that's bizarre. He's an idiot. I don't think it goes on the fare. I'm gonna be honest. No, it does. It does. When I, I go to Laguardia, it's twelve dollars total. That there's got to be a charge on the on the. Uh, there's no Easy Pass. There's no Easy Pass to Laguardia. Oh yeah, there is a tri bro. Yeah. No, wait, maybe there's only one, maybe it's only going. If any of you listeners drive yeah, Uber. Yeah, it is, it is. If yeah, any the, listeners the drive call. Uber, call in and explain to yeah, us how it works. call in, no, because I think. Kevin it, Dombrowski, you drive Uber. He doesn't, but he'll hear oh, that. <laughs> no, I think uh, they said, on, I, when I went, went to the Uber website, it said it automatically goes on to the fair. When, when I, if it goes on easy path. You have to be sober to drive an Uber. I can't do that. Why are you, why are you, you want something you want to tell us? Why do you drink so much? Because <laughs> I'm cool. Oh. <laughs> Just drink until she comes back. She'll call. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, she so may then, have bought my. She may have bought my album, uh, track six. I call her a cunt by name. May have. So then yeah. I'm on the plane. I'm on the plane yesterday. Well, Gina, you know, you're amazing. gonna love this story. I am. I, I'm on a plane yesterday, and uh, I took the plane on Thursday, and then yesterday I'm on the plane. Who said? You fly last week. I'm gonna interrupt you. I really am legitimate. I'll, I had the worst flight experience of my life trying to get to Chicago last week. No. When did you fly? You only fly to Chicago. No, I'm just saying last week, I'll be flying to LA. Kirk says you're always in Chicago. I do Chicago about twice a year, three times a year, because I have family out there, and I can do the Laugh Factory and some other club called Riddles. Oh, Riddles is and still I went open? To, what's that? Riddles is still open? Uh, it's it's in the middle. When I first did it, a buddy was on, I can get you okay, into Okay, nobody cares. Okay, anyway, uh, so I'm on a plane, and then, uh, you know, this guy... <laughs> 
this guy, this like this redneck kind of like big kind of. We're going to tax. Yeah, the hat and blonde hair. Yeah, yeah. He's screaming about his eagle. Yeah. <laughs> the crossover bit. So, <laughs> so anyway, this guy was like, he was sitting in front of me, the seat in front of me, going out there. And he was funny because he was like, there was like an Indian kind of a guy, like maybe a terrorist kind of a looking guy on the, on the aisle. And he was like, the big guy was in the middle. He had a big turban and oh was, my God. was he Shut talking the about fuck the up. in the back of a man? Yeah. This is like fucking fishing a Are you really? Mis- Please tell me there was a gorilla really mis- in a hoodie behind <laughs> Really, Miss Ehrenberg. I can't even do my show. I don't care. I'm listening. I don't even care. Anyway, so the guy. Has any guests you've had before been this excited to hang out with you? I get yeah. no props. I mean, I don't. I, all my guests suck. No matter, no matter who they are. If it's Steve Marshall who don't talk, then you talk too much. Nobody talks the right amount. Uh, uh, it's like having a fucking girl where you're like, why? You know, they either talk too much or talk too little. How about talking a normal amount? Sit up. Don't do Steve Marshall. That's what <laughs> Steve does. Does he really? It's like this. He's like he like he's the fucking judge of the show. I'm like sit talking to the mic. I had uh, Rick Shapiro. Remember Rick Shapiro? He's back he's, in New York. He's mumbling off mic. I'm like <laughs> mumble onto the mic, you fucking idiot. But then he's you can't even call him a retard because he's got Parkinson. So it's like such a cheap shot where you go like Rick, Rick, put your bib, use your bib, wipe your chin. Uh, that's my, I mean I mean that's who, my favorite who mumbles, line. mumble onto the mic? Who mumbles stupid. off mic? Who ma who? He's he's in show business. He's got to know where the mic is, how it how it works. There's another like a vibration device where it amplifies your. F- uh. So anyway, I have a lot of shitty guests, and uh, thank you. <laughs> so I like to keep that streak. Hey, going, a, I'm on a hot streak. This is like four four weeks in a row. <laughs> Jimmy Martinez, he brings his fucking crew with him. <laughs> I think I have a deadbolt on the green. Jimmy brings board. a guy who just stares at me, and then by the end of by the end of the show, he's usually like having a good time. He's laughing even though he doesn't who want to. I don't know. I think his name is Ray Ray. And um, <laughs> can he say that? <coughs> can, right. can I show. say that? Show. Can I say that? Anyway, what do you got there? You got some five hour energy, some lozenges. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. We're like, we're like, we're like, you camping. got your green tea there, buddy. It's a long time. Plus, the fucking clock is right ahead of me. I know I gotta sit there for another hour with you. So it's gonna be a nightmare. So anyway, so I'm on the plane. You know what I gotta do with the plane? I gotta like, I gotta bring a thing where I can watch. Everybody else brings something they can watch. I just watch people watching their show. You don't sleep on planes, dude. I can't sleep. I'm, I because uh, what if what if the pilot fucking has a heart attack? Well then, I gotta jump you in. Want to be awake for that? Yeah, I do. I don't. I everybody, don't. everybody has something to do. I'm watching some guy watch his fucking Japanese movie with subtitles, with no subtitles because he's Japanese, so he don't need subtitles. <laughs> I'm like, am I an idiot? Yeah. And then he sees me looking at him. And he's like, "Ah, do you mind?" I go, I, "Yeah, I do mind." So anyway, um, the guy in front of me, like he's just like an old-fashioned, like redneck, racist guy. He's going to Texas. He's with his fat son. Like his son, he was like, he was the guy was a big dude, but his son was like, the, and his son slept the whole way. Anyway, the guy, the guy in front of me, who was like maybe a terrorist. At one point, he falls asleep, and the guy's just staring at his face, like just staring at him, like, "What? Like, what's your deal?" Because they're, you know, they're close to each other. He's in the middle seat. Anyway, and to come back, I come back on the way uh, on the uh, plane yesterday. He's on. He's right in front of me again. Shut up. With his son. Shut up. I don't even say anything. I go. I go. Wait. Is that the guy? And then I remembered his fucking clogs. He was wearing clogs, like like camouflage, like hunting clogs or whatever. Shocker. Anyway, but I'm like, what are the odds? What are the fucking odds? Like seriously, what are the odds? I should have just said something to him, but then he would. Then he would think. <laughs> You're an odds guy, aren't you? Don't you gamble from time to time? What are the odds? What are the odds he's on the exact same fucking flight coming you think back? think he's somewhere doing his podcast in Charlottesville <laughs> bitching about you? No, because he, he doesn't notice shit. That's why, that's why I don't bring stuff, because I like to notice stuff sure. from my podcast. Because I'm listening to a fucking, uh, if I'm watching Walking Dead, what do I notice? I just watch a, notice a fucking made-up show. First of all, everyone's ma- bitching about that guy in Charlottesville, that the, you know, people got killed or whatever. And then what did what everybody watch last night? Game of Thrones. Isn't that violent? Yeah, but it's made up violence. Okay, but people still love violence. So when people, everyone, why is everyone shocked by violence? Because we love violence. Yeah, and people need to be offended, and they're like, "Oh my God, this no, is." It's a not nightmare. even that. People go like, "Oh my God, it's the violence." And then what do they do? Every fucking every, every weekend in the in the fall and winter, they watch fucking black guys tackle each other. Right. That's not violent. They all have concussions. <laughs> so why are we act like we're a pad? We're not fucking Scandinavian. 
Why we act like a we're a passive society? You got nothing on that, right? You fucking I don't want to tell idiot, you. huh? I could tell no, you. But the point is, I people are like, oh my you. god, can you? We're, 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 why don't we try to be more civil? Stop watching Game of Thrones. You what? fucking uh, hypocrites. But, but wouldn't you argue to watch Game No, I already argued. Okay, okay. You argue the other point. What do you do? How many cups you got? I have a little water to chase my coffee with. <laughs> Sometimes the coffee's a little. All right, what's your point? Tincture. What's your point, Berg? <laughs> I'm just saying people love violence, but the people love to complain. So they're going to complain. No, about they love. They, yeah, they do love to complain, but they really. But people are. Some such, people build whole podcasts around it. People are such hypocrites. And I couldn't get, you know, this whole burning bridges thing. Uh, let me just say it's about burning bridges. <laughs> My lawyer got the date switch. I was flying on Thursday and I was about to, I said, when I get off the plane, I'm going to call him. Cause he was, I text, I emailed him like on Wednesday. I go, we're going to get this date change or whatever. Cause I knew Thursday had to travel and that's, you can't communicate. So I was about to, I was, I sent him an email early Thursday. And if I go, if he doesn't, if I don't hear back from him Thursday night, I'm going to fucking light into him. Cause I'm just, I, cause I had to pay him money. You're gonna pay, lay into him, or you're gonna light him whatever, up. You don't, don't light matter. into him. I, I had to pay him in advance, a lot of money, <laughs> on my budget. So, I, so my point is, know, my I'm point flat is, broke. my point is, I didn't lay into him. He did a good job. He moved the date to a much better date, not a Monday. And then, uh, so I kind of learned my lesson. My the lesson I'm trying to tell my listeners, you know, I burn a lot of bridges. That's true. But sometimes you gotta wait a day. Sometimes you just get, you gotta wait a day. Let let before you burn a bridge, give somebody twenty four more hours. Because even with this fucking podcast, like, I a lot of people say no to me doing a podcast, and I don't know if they're like uh, pissed at me or they're pay, or they're friends with Lenny or they're friends with somebody else I pissed off or somebody else I shit on. So burning bridges. Sometimes uh, you gotta eat a little shit. Uh, what's your name? Gino. Gino. <laughs> So I'm saying it's not for everybody, this burning bridges thing, right, Gino? Everybody likes Gino, right? Your Uncle Gino? Uncle Gino is amazing. Debuted at number seven on the Billboard Comedy Chart. No, it didn't. I, swear to, I don't know how it works. The, the next week it was gone, but I swear to God, it debuted at number yeah, seven. Yeah, no, it's weird. Like, I think, there's no there's no rhyme or reason. Like, I was, oh, there's rhyme. I was number... There's I, reason. I debuted at two on oh, iTunes, when you're open, and then within you, when a week open, I'm gone. You, yeah, when you open, you open strong, and then, and then you sell about 20 copies, and then... Uh, like to make the New York Times bestseller list, you got to sell like like twenty thousand copies, and then you're number one that week because nobody else is selling twenty thousand that week. The week it comes out, it's yeah, that's exactly it. Pop a little bit. And and I, I said, and then you're looking at your thing, you're like, oh look at that, I moved from seven to five, and then you're like, I passed an album that was released in nineteen ninety seven. You yeah, know, that's Aria. a that's yeah. a legit album and a dead guy. You're like, but I'm at five, I'll take it. You know, yeah, you got to be somewhere. You just pass the rumors by Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> no, it's not rumors. Anyway, speaking of that, I was going to trash Lenny. You're friends with Lenny, right? Lenny's a huge fan of Geno's picks, my uh, football. <laughs> plug a palooza, dude. I gotta, when does that start? Well, the videos start week one of the season, but you I'm, think, uh, I'm Ka keep bringing yeah, back the do podcast. What about Kaepernick? I, I know that Stephen A. Smith was bitching about it. He's an asshole. Cause Stephen, Stephen A. Smith? This is Let me say something about Stephen A. Smith. Okay, yeah, I, I want to me to talk about Colin Kaepernick. I want to be the Stephen A. Smith of comedy because, you know, I don't even agree with Stephen A. Smith all, all the time. But every time he's I like, and you don't know what side he's gonna be on, de depending on what issue. But but you listen to the guy because he makes it. He makes. I don't. He, I do. Everything he says irritates me, and you could. Oh, but you'll you realize, still listen. Well, how do you know what irritates you? Because you listen. You're a fucking idiot. I guess you're right. You just right. box yourself in no corner. I don't watch his show, but I'm I'll saying, find a clip and I'll. Oh, no, you'll right, see I'll a clip. It. I watch every clip he does because I because I. Right, I watch not, his clips. He's not predictable, and he usually he he it's got not predictable. He got into a fight with LeBron. He fucking got into a fight with LeBron the other day. He just wants attention. He, he no, he doesn't. Down. He doesn't okay. do it for attention. He has a point. Do you realize when Colin Kaepernick he, what, when Colin Kaepernick doesn't get signed because he sucks because he went one and ten as a starter last year. Now, all you white guys say Colin Kaepernick. First of all, Colin Kaepernick was the best quarterback in the league for for a year and a half, and then and then he gets hurt, and you guys are like, he sucks. He didn't suck when he when he was healthy. It's like that guy. What's that guy used I'll to give play? You the answer when you was that guy who played for Tennessee? The the running back Johnson. You know who I'm talking about? Chris Johnson. What about him? What are you stupid? How do you not know Chris Johnson? I know Chris Johnson. Then say Chris okay, Johnson. Did, did he just say who's that uh, black football player named Johnson? Stop it. Oh, What's worse, Smith? There are more black Smiths in the NFL than Colonial oh, I Williamsburg. Running back for Tennessee, and you didn't know right away. You 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 know football, so jump in. When's the last time he played for Tennessee? 
I'm saying he was the best running back. He was going to be the best running back of all time. You don't even know. He gets hurt, and then you guys are like, he sucks. He sucks because he's hurt. CJ2K. He's talking about you guys' concussion syndrome. If you want to talk, fine, but if you want the answers, take a fucking breath, and I'll explain. You guys say he sucks now, but he didn't suck when he didn't suck. He He's another guy that played when he wanted to play. Who? Chris Johnson. No, he gets hurt, and then he's then he's not as good, and then he's. There were games where he at, there were games where he rushed for 200 yards, and the following week he rushed for a single digit total. Because when he doesn't want to play, he doesn't want to play. There are guys that are great football players because they want to compete. And I'll tell you something about friggin' your boyfriend Colin Kaepernick. Who'd you, who'd you play football for? What's that? Who'd you play football for? Never. Exactly. So you don't know anything about playing. You. It's like somebody. It's like Chris okay. Johnson saying, like, okay. you're not. Yeah. I saw. I Watch saw. This. I know nothing. No, we saw Gino Bisconti at the New York Comedy Club, and he wasn't even trying. You don't know what the. You don't know what they're going through. They don't know what we're going through. When you're bombing, is it your fault? Usually. Okay. Okay. Sometimes I bomb, and it's totally not my fault. Maybe the maybe the fucking crowd sucks. It's always maybe. our fault you as comedians. Gotta follow the guy who's like he's a hack, or who the fuck knows? I haven't followed the me in tired. weeks. <laughs> I love to follow you, Gino, and I would the whole time I just say what a dick you were. I would love go, that. This guy stinks. Well, let's do another comedian to the compound tour. <laughs> Every I plug. Might, do you I understand? Let me ask you a simple question, because you've played football, obviously. Yeah, I played Division Three. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, women's college. <laughs> okay. You ever heard of? I'm trying to think of a couple quarter. And and if I just give you their last name, you could tell me. Uh, Brady. Sammy Ball. <laughs> we're not. Let's better. go back. No, Brady. Yeah. Rogers. Do you know? Watch this. You know where Tom Brady went to college? Yeah. Okay, where? Michigan. Okay, that was easy. You know where Aaron Rodgers went? Uh, yeah. No, you don't. Cal. Oh. Fuck you! No, no. Fuck you! Well, I'm not touching you. Because oh, 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 right. I know shit. I know shit. People don't think because I Where'd wear the Drew dark Brees glasses. Go? Where'd Drew Brees go? Purdue. God damn it, you're good. Yeah. But there's a reason. Here's the thing. Because no, they're white and they don't leave this the pocket. The they're protected. Like 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 CEOs in a company. They're protected. The black guys run. They're stupid. They see the police. It's your show. They see the police. Very they good. run out of the pocket. Very good. Very good. But they shouldn't. They should stay in the there's pocket. The they guys get like hurt. Brady, Rogers, and Breeze get better every year because they played four years at small at, at like uh, in, in in basic virtual unknownness in, on college programs that weren't winning or going to championship games. Played four years. Learned how got the reps in, learned how to throw an interception and walk back on the field and act like it never happened, learned how to read a defense, learned how to be a good teammate. And there's a reason why guys like Mark Sanchez and and Matt Leinart and your boyfriend Colin Kaepernick, who played in a shit division school for one year, had one amazing year, Michael Vick, then fucking had a great first couple Michael seasons. Michael Vick was great. He was great. At, he was great. He was better than Let's the Let's take whole... Vick out of the equation so we don't. And then they had a great first season or two, Dante Kolpak, and then people said, okay, they, they study tape because that's what they do in the NFL and then they're like they learn how to read the quarterback and the quarterback can't answer because they never learned how to read a defense Colin Kaepernick couldn't beat out Blaine Gabbard Blaine Gabbard who washed out of the Jacksonville job couldn't beat out Blaine Gabbard for the starting job in San Francisco last year they, Let got me hurt. they got hurt before he ever started the friggin national anthem bullshit he had lost his job to Blaine Gabbard which is why he started moping on the sidelines sitting down like a bitch during the anthem he didn't want to kneel a friggin marine from Seattle that used to play on the Seahawks came over and said you should really kneel it's a better and he did He's not a good quarterback, and people want to make it about color and the flag, but talent always trumps trouble. You're telling me a, an NFL owner is worried about you not saluting the flag when Marshawn Lynch did it this weekend, because he's a good player and a good teammate, when the Dallas Cowboys will stand behind Ezekiel Elliott, who beat the shit out of a woman, took Greg Hardy after he got fucking bounced out of Carolina for nearly killing his girlfriend. They don't care about that shit. They care about numbers. Kaepernick but, but I'm have saying them. when these guys get hurt, you can't you can't act like he wasn't good. When he was what before he got hurt, he was good. They leave the pocket. I don't even leave the pocket. That's the problem. They he shouldn't never really leave the got pocket. hurt, did he? Yeah, he was. He got beat up. He he was running with the ball. He got banged up. Not like he got hurt. hurt. Yeah, he got banged up. So then he's then he's not at 100. percent Then he can't make the throws. He's not as effective. Then he's as not. A well, there you go. Even if no, we, don't, don't don't leave the pocket. It's not a game where you leave the pocket. Vic, not a good enough quarterback well, to stay in the pocket. He relies on his feet. Right, and then once they lose that, then they're in trouble because they can't Can they can't make the passes. I get this clip from my podcast later today. Gino's Picks podcast. It's at Gino'sPicks.com. Gino, I, I should be your sidekick for that. I, I would, would just, love it, I would dude. Just, I'd love to sit and talk I'd football. I berate you. I berate you. I about enjoy how this. Fucking wrong you are. <laughs> but, you know, so wait, let me ask you a yes no question. Do you think Kaepernick should be in football and he's being blackballed? Well, that's a yes, no, or no, they, yes. The fact that they signed uh, uh, Jay uh, Cutler.
Is that his name? Yeah, but did you? Th- that makes. Hey, sense. Cutler, he's fucking. He's he's a he's a cancerous dude. But he would be like me being on a team. But did you? He's bad news. The connection to interrupt you because like it don't matter. The guy's never won. He's not. He's not a good quarterback. Where did Cutler, go to college. He went to. Uh, this is fun. You're gonna wait, get. Now I'm rooting for you. Wait, Cutler. I'm I'm thinking of Illinois, but it's not Illinois. No. Right? Oh, I know Vanderbilt. <laughs> Now I'm not Fuck. even. That's fucking awesome, dude. Fuck, I can do this. I know shit way too much. But he, he's sitting at this mic. I fucking I be on CBS. This is fucking great. But you understand? I don't even watch. I don't even watch sports anymore. I just read. I know where they'll go because I read about it. But the first thing ever, and I'm not big on Cutler either, and everything you said, I agree with. But the, it made sense because Gase. The head coach of the Dolphins two years ago in 2015 was the Bears' offensive coordinator. I know all that. But okay, well, I'm saying that's why it fits. He, <coughs> his teammates I'm hate out of him. Coffee alley. Do we have any coffee left in the studio? <laughs> his teammates hate him, and uh, and that and and the guy, for them to not try Kaepernick. Oh, was, I think there was, was a, what's was that? dumb. It's it's no, dumb. it's not. It's He's, dumb. So you're saying Kaepernick's good enough to play, dude? He's not good enough to be a backup. And don't get me wrong. You factor in black people like him, so so it's that, still, that's it's, what annoys me. He he's like Michael Sam. They make it about something other than the fact that they're not talented. You know, what the, was Michael there. Sam's like, yeah, I'm not in football because I'm gay. No, you're not in football because you were too small and you didn't play. The, the game. problem is that the NFL really doesn't need the the you know they, they if Kaepernick went to a town like let's say uh like what's a black like L A or whatever. <laughs> that's they, a they black don't, town. Yeah, it's very black. Chicago, whatever. The the whole point is that they don't. You know, if it was a baseball season where they need to sell tickets, but the NFL doesn't need to sell tickets. No, doesn't need to sell anything. They're already making money, so they don't really need them for the publicity, for the for the hit they would get. You know what I mean? He's a starting quarterback for the Niners now. Do we even know? I think no, it- I don't even pay attention to that. The Niners sucked. I mean, most teams suck anyway, so. Yeah. I mean, who's good? The Jets? Come on. Oh, I mean, the fucking Jets, the Jets got what Giants, they deserved. Giants stink. That guy, Odell Beckham, he's a fucking bitch too, right? Yeah. He's he's, 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 a, he's an incredible. He's for the team. He's an incredible yeah, talent, but he's his own worst enemy, and it t- turns up. He's not his own team. worst enemy. He, he's he's looking for a job. They all learn, like, uh, what's the guy who played for USA and they played for the Jets? Keyshawn. Okay, okay, he had a shit career. Another Johnson. Who's that guy, Johnson? He played for the. Uh... the black guy, Johnson. Help me out here. You cannot tell me you're not having. Wait, fun. the the guy Washington. The, come me. on, Washington. What's his What's his first name? Washington. Leon, played in the NFL. Right, you can't tell me you're not enjoying yourself Keyshawn, right now. Keyshawn is still on ESPN. No, he's not. Who, who's he on now? I think he's out. He got. Is he anywhere now? He was for the longest time. I haven't but seen him. Everyone got fired from ESPN. He had a shit. He had a shit career. He's still on ESPN because he was a controversial guy. Agreed. And so and he, he's on ESPN, but he's oh, uh, Odell Beckham knows that if, if you become famous enough, you, you'll get you're going to get endorsement deals. You're going to get a TV job. He just signed the largest sneaker contract by any NFL player ever. Odell in the Beckham? offseason. In the offseason. Yeah. Exactly. Well, so at, off-season, at this point, at this point, he's transcended the team because he knows he can go to another team and the, and the fans will still. Plus, it's such a star fucker society now because of like social media that you don't you, that, who cares who he plays for? Does it does it matter where Le, if LeBron goes to L.A. from here? Not really, because he's he's, he's gonna... bigger than the fucking team. Well, basketball is a different animal than than. Football. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If you come become big enough, you you're big, you become bigger than a team because of social media. Agreed. And endorsement. So is Beckham bigger than the team? Yeah. He's bad for the Who team. Who else is though? on the team? Nobody. Eli. Eli. But Eli's old and white and tired. So. But he's the guy that gets him to the super. He's know, the guy that gets but, once but they he, make the playoffs. He's not getting younger, and he's not he's not that kind of quarterback. He's not like Brady, who's gonna fucking who's like determined to prove everybody wrong. That's just great coaching yeah. too. Yeah. Belichick and Brady, that's just one yeah, of those Brady's great. Brady's so determined. He, Brady's still pissed that he was picked in the sixth round. He yeah, and pissed. he proves, and, and that's. Where Eli, Eli didn't have that kind of upbringing. Eli had a fucking smooth sailing, you know? Mm, okay. Um, what do you mean? Where, hmm. Where'd, he go? Day was where'd Eli Manning go? Ole Miss. Fucking love this game, five for five. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm like rooting for him in a way. And then his dad, you know, I mean, he was a, he was a fucking a rich kid. His dad was famous. That's only and his brother. He basically had it easy. His brother. He had to follow his brother into the league, and that made it easier because there was no pressure on him. I mean, it you was some pressure. Due, he friggin', uh, I mean, he asked me where where who wanted to pick him. Who wanted to pick who? Eli. The Chargers picked him. I'm a Charger fan. Okay. And then I, they, saying, I thought they didn't pick him because he said I wouldn't sign with them. But No, no you traded. never saw the pick. The Charger, he's like, I'm not signing if you pick me. They picked him, and then there's a great picture of him holding up the Charger number one jersey like someone smashed a grapefruit I, in his face. And then they traded him? 
They traded him for oh, I thought, for I thought Rivers. they traded him before. They traded him for Rivers, and they got Nate Kading. They got the draft picks that led to Nate Kading and Sean Merriman in that same deal. Good story. Anyway, um, <laughs> I wish we were Mike and a Mad Dog so we could take a fucking phone call. Where'd Philip Rivers go to college? Do we have any phone calls? Where'd Philip Rivers go to college? Um, well, I'm going to stump Phillip you. Philip Rivers. I'm going to stump you. <laughs> Philip Rivers. Hmm. I'm thinking East Coast. Yes. Southeast. Yes. Not an SEC school, right? No. Wait, no. I'm almost sure. I'm going to say no, and if it was and I'm wrong, you can you can punch me, but it's not SEC. It's ACC. I want to tell you that. North Carolina? South Carolina? Oh, no. Are you sure? North Carolina State. Oh, State. Oh, oh I knew. I was so, No, I was there. I was there. I knew. I thought it was North Carolina. <laughs> Then, yeah, North Carolina State. You're obviously confusing him with Natrone Means, former Charger <laughs> running back who took who led them who to was Super that Bowl guy? 29. Natrone Means business. What? Wait, who was that guy who was uh, went to South Carolina and it was I'm sure it's a Johnson or a Washington? The greatest. He was the greatest defensive player since LT. And then where is he now? He got no, I think Houston. Davian Cla- no, yeah, Clowney. Yeah, Clowney. He's, he's a clowny. No, he doing what? Doing what? Well, he, he had his healthiest year ever last year, and he's a he's a beast when he's okay. Healthy. If they're healthy, but then if they're not healthy, they're, so this whole the whole the draft we're like this guy's gonna be. If they stay healthy, it's a violent game. It's like saying it's like saying a guy to his and a guy on the South Side of Chicago like this guy's gonna be the greatest gang banger of all time until he gets shot. Yeah. Well, I he, mean, it's a very violent game, so you can't predict who's gonna. You don't want that last. You don't want you him want in your a white guy. You league. want a white guy. He'll stay in a pocket. You say, even if you see the popo coming, don't run. We'll protect you because they have a tendency when people are coming at him to run. Yeah. Where white guys are like, I have a lawyer. I have an accountant to protect. <laughs> I'm not me. As, I can't outrun him anyway. Why? Why tire myself? Oh, out? Why? Yeah. I have a publicist. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. The black guy thinks he can outrun the other black guys. Well, the white guy knows he can. They usually so he just stays and takes takes a little bit of a hit. But they even made it so that you couldn't even hurt a white guy because you know they made the rules so that you couldn't you couldn't be mean to Tom Brady. You couldn't even say mean things to him. <laughs> you when you attack him, you couldn't be like you gotta say thank you, Mr. Brady. Yeah, or, but say what you want about Brady. The the, the fact that he has that fifth Super Bowl ring, that that falls squarely on the shoulders of friggin' Shanahan and uh, Quinn, the coach and offensive coordinator, not in that order, in Atlanta. Don't get me started. Up to, oh, yeah, we, about oh, my God, that. we did that. You're right. Oh, we lost our mind. We lost our was, mind about that. No, even, even now I saw a commercial with Matt Ryan. I'm like, you're a bitch. You're a bitch, Matt Ryan. <laughs> That's a good aim. Gino, how can you drink during the day? Well, that was water. I, that was water. No, but then, I'm out of my coffee. Why you bring your own coffee? Yeah. <laughs> Weak coffee, huh? Why you bring your own coffee? It looked almost, like, it looked almost oh a light God. brown color. Oh my God, we gotta do a road gig together. Me, you, and Burr gotta do a road gig together. I know, I yeah. know. Why? What, what, what? When you're driving drunk the whole time <laughs> in my Chevy, we were... <laughs> you can't get another key- comedian to the compound together. Oh, we can. What do you mean, me? Well, you're... You know, my my. All of a sudden, I got all these gigs. I, I got the heat. What happened I got to all these. We... I got all these gigs. I got like. I got. I was. I was out that? of. T- I was out of town the last four weeks doing these fucking road gigs, and I was like, I don't need these fucking guys. <laughs> but you know what happened? When I was gonna try to do McGuire's, and then McGuire's booked me without you guys. <laughs> Good I'm for like, you. <laughs> <laughs> I did the same thing. Should I? How much are you gonna pay the other guys? We don't want them. Click. No problem. Oh, it's like it's like uh, we were the police, and now and then I became Sting. I'm like, I don't need fucking. <laughs> Who's who's in Sting? Who I mean, who's in who's in the police? Who played uh who played drums? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who What's played that? drums? For the Copeland? Police? Yeah, Stuart Copeland. Yes. Then how about the good the uh, other guitarist? No. You're gonna say Andy, Andy Sumners. Oh yeah. Okay, I would have never gotten that, but I remember that name. Yeah, I kinda went to see them. Hey, uh can I you went guys to see do... Tom Petty the oh I'm sorry. I went to yeah, see Tom, Tom Petty. Petty. I saw him at the Forest Hills. They have to bring him out and they wheel him out. Oh, he's amazing. Look at this. Oh, now we're putting <laughs> what coffee is that, in root? bottles. <laughs> what is that root beer? <laughs> oh, my God. No, I got kids. I got to fucking go home. I can't go home with fucking smiling. I got to finish like, this. Of, smiling like Gino. I got to finish this. What's that? You want me to drink huh? you right now? Oh, yeah, I was. No, because I was sick. What happened? I would, the other night I got, I had like, a, I mean, my, the, the, whatever I have, it's like minor. I, I'm not even sick anymore, but the cough uh, lingers because if I talk and then like the air conditioning will, will agitate it. But anyway, like a couple of weeks ago, I did MLC, my other podcast and, uh, at the strip and you know, you, they have a bar there. So I was, cough, I was coughing. I felt like shit. So I just started drinking like, and it was I, Richie, your guest, you could set the volume to 11 if you want to hear him. <laughs> 
don't say that. <laughs> anyway, so I was drinking. I he doesn't book me. Fuck him. I was so, but I, you know when you're drunk, I mean, when you mm-hmm. know when you're already got a head cold I and do. you drink and it doesn't even affect you because you're already kind of like loopy. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what happens. Yes, I do, Kevin. Yes, I do. Hello. I'm when Sam Adams. Date, when you go on a date with the women you date. date. A date? <laughs> You get them drunk, or you just get drunk and you don't even give a I shit. I date what crazy happens. women. You don't have to get them drunk. Once you get them drunk, they're off the cliff. You have to time the sex right before they go B A N A N A S. That's the worst when a woman gets so drunk that you know the sex is going to be horrible. <laughs> yeah, but you also know they can't fill out a police report when they're that drunk. What? First Did I all, say that into the mic or into my beer? <laughs> I'm getting into an elevator with a lady here. It's just I get in, the door's about to close, so I like I come in the last minute. She's in bar by herself. She looks at me like, are you gonna what are you gonna do to me? Like it, it's so uncomfortable now. Like women are so you know what I mean? Terrified. You can't get in, you can't be alone with another woman on the elevator. Cause it's like, are you gonna grope me? So I just groped them to get it over with, to get it right, so then we can relax. Right. You the get ride that up. Awkwardness out of yeah, the way. Because she she she's waiting, I'm gonna deliver. Right. I mean, the the protocol for dating, like like if you if a woman passes out, you've been off the market for ages. Did you? You back when you dated, dating oh, was a thing. It was a oh, ritual. Crazy. No, I never dated. No, you. What you do? You met a girl at a comedy club. You got her drunk. You fucked her, and then you see what happened after that. Right. And then you see, yeah, like if there was any connection. Is I, that how you met your current wife? No, I. You know, I met all my women the same way. They they fuck me. They think it's a one night stand, and they marry me. <laughs> no, they all think it's gonna one night stand because they think I have no fucking. They think I'm like I have no credibility. You know what I mean? Right. They think I'm a clown. They think I'm like you, like a drunk clown. We don't. And, and to, then we don't have to take that from him, do we? <laughs> no, we don't, Gene. I know that. Then, I know that's him. You do him, Gene. Then, 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 then they go on a second date with me. Then I take him to the fucking old homestead, like you and a uh, Berg went the other day. Oh, delicious. And then before you know it, we're fucking married. We got two kids. Every time they say, oh, I thought you were going to be a one-night stand. Maybe all women say that to all guys because they don't want to seem like whores, you know? <laughs> but this is, you've only been married once, right? I kind of was married before, but I got married before for health insurance. Oh, so fake married. No, it was we were together for a long time, but she, I was losing my health insurance, and then she was like, why, why don't we get married? And then, But she was a lesbian anyway, so it wasn't going to work. We were together for a long time. Same M.O. We, we, I got her drunk. More like H-O-M-O. <laughs> Nothing? Uh, <laughs> I gave it a shot. I don't even laugh. I don't laugh at jokes. I don't even hear jokes. That wasn't worth laughing at. I go to comedy clubs now. People do jokes, and the audience laughs. I'm like, I don't even get it. What's the joke? I don't even get jokes now. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you. that was a going to H-O-M-O. Yeah, it was more <laughs> whatever. But anyway, so that's what happens. I get him drunk. I fuck them, and then, uh, and then uh, whatever. And then I never fucked them so hard. I never fuck them good enough that they're like, oh, that was well enough. You don't give satis- them good enough sex. It was satisfactory, so they always want to fuck me again. I think that's my trick because right. I, I, I'm so such a disappointment. Yeah, yeah. Like, let me see. He got to be like that. Had to be me. That yeah. had to be me. Let me see. <laughs> let me that see. Had to be me. I'll give him one more chance. See if he steps up. You know how I know I've, I I got them if, if we if we fuck they stay the next day we go out for breakfast and they order orange juice <laughs> they they're that comfortable. I think you're Johnny Rockefeller. <laughs> hey, got rocks. I'm getting OJ. <laughs> Anyway, I'm 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 cracking myself up at my own. I'm enjoying every minute. Oh, I of set this. myself up. You finish the joke, and then we have a laugh. Anyway, do you know where Colin Kaepernick went to college, by the way? Ah, after all that, he went on West Coast too. He close to the West Coast. Stanford? No, University of Nevada. Oh, that's right. But he was a he was adopted. Yes. So he he was a whatever. You know who? You know who else was adopted? Uh, uh, the the Yankees uh, judge. Judge? Really? Yeah. Because someone was saying about, I go, you know why, you know why the Yankee fans love him? Because he looks like Cheetah. Again, he's mixed. I yeah, I never. No, he doesn't know who his parents are. Really? Yeah, because he said when he when he got, I looked this up. When he got older, he was like, he goes, my, pa- I, I don't look like my parents. He's definitely biracial. He's a good looking kid though. Why does everyone think he's on steroids? Like, I'm not saying he is or isn't. because no, because they don't know that he's mixed. If they knew he was half black, they're like, he's not on steroids. He's just he's just half oh, black. So dumb pe- you're saying dumb people think he's a white guy that's all jacked up. Yes, I'm saying he's half black. Look it up, Wikipedia. That's what it's for. Okay, Jimmy the Greek. So you're saying he? No, has it's like you see a homeless muscle. guy. You see a homeless guy uh, outside uh, outside a fucking subway station, and he's cut. You know he hasn't been to the gym in a couple of weeks. You we don't have time. When I see a homeless Why guy. Why are you with, ogling homeless men at Port Authority? I can't imagine. I can't imagine. I don't know how they have a six pack. Like, how you know do they mean? have a six pack? How many white guys have a six pack? What do you, as a white guy, what do you have to do to get a six pack? You have to, like, basically live at the gym yeah. and eat right. What, a black guy just has to be homeless and guaranteed six after, pack. After this, I'll be that much closer to a six pack. 
First of all, Gino, do you work out? Yeah, not a lot. <laughs> I do some uh, light weights and I jump rope and I do a lot oh of my God. the very. Uh, what do you mean you jump? What do you jump rope? That's a good workout, but you don't do it very amazing. much, right? What's that? When's the last time you jumped rope? Yesterday. I do it about three times a week, half an oh, hour. How long? I put on my headphones, I crank a little Sarah McLaughlin, fucking 20 minutes of jump rope, finger myself. 20 minutes of jump rope, finger myself. How? Uh, 20, you don't do 20 Building minutes of jump rope. Building a Gino B. <laughs> Let me take your shirt off. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see my back hair? I get, Daddy's got to get waxed before West Coast Gino. That's a week and a half away. Are you pre-taping like seven shows? <laughs> You're the worst. You gotta go to West. You gotta go to West Coast for your show. No, we're doing we're doing one pre-tape, and then uh, I'm only gonna miss one show. And I actually said to Berg, I'm like, I'm like, we'll we'll do a I'll, I'll Skype in the last week because it pisses Brennan off whenever I'm not in the oh, studio. It's, it's, it makes me furious. <laughs> well, but why doesn't Berg do it to you? What's that? Berg has so Skyped in before. What do you go to West Coast for? What's that? We're, do spots, hang out, relax. You're re you're already relaxed. What, what do you want to get more relaxed? You live in New York, you have no responsibilities, and you're drinking on Monday in the afternoon. You, you want to be more relaxed? I'm late. I'm behind schedule. You want to be more relaxed? Yeah. What do you want to call all? Like I do spots in L.A. for like three weeks just to do it, like just to get my name out there. Make a little money, have a lot of fun, do my uh, football Who's stuff. Your friends out there. And I'll tell you something else, all kidding aside, like that sports sheet we always joke around that I do. Like... It's fun, but sports go till midnight here on the East Coast, you know? So there's times I'm at the clubs and I'm finishing, like, a story because it happened late. You go on on the West Coast, my sheet is done 9 o'clock, which is midnight here. Then I go do spots and fucking relax. It's fucking amazing. You make money off your sheet? Oh, fuck yeah. How? At, what's that? How? Uh, maybe because it's nationally syndicated on premier radio networks. No, it's not. Okay, it's not. It's not. So you're just living the life? Yeah, my life's amazing. You're making money doing that? Yeah. Just and yet, yet I'm flat broke for some reason. It's just, amazing. Don't say you're flat broke because now the fucking trolls are going to jump on on that. Oh, my God. Oh, we got one. You're welcome. You have to say it. Hello? <laughs> no. You say, you say you're say you burning bridges with Kevin Brennan. Try to get. I didn't even know we had a phone call. How'd you know we had a phone call? Right I can't Hello? see. Here's what you do. Hello? Wait, no, wait, wait, AJ, hold on. Say, AJ, you're okay, burning bridges with Kevin Brennan. Go. AJ, you're on the TV. Guys, you're on the uh, phone. You're on the phone. Let me try it again. You're on the phone with burning with, bridges with, with Kevin Aaron Brennan. and Gino Bisconti. Uh, <laughs> guys, I love the show. I'm really enjoying it. I loved uh, Kevin just berating Gino. It's really, really fun. Uh, I loved hearing about uh, Kevin talk about uh, him having sex, I guess. That was pretty funny, too. <laughs> but the reason I'm calling is uh, two questions for Gino. Uh, question one, how's that whore, Sarah? She'll call. She'll call. Can I ask you to hold one second, AJ? Why won't you love me? All right, what's the second question, AJ? Are your girlfriend? Uh, nice. Second question is... Um, you don't even you care. Give of, uh, you, you, you give a lot of betting advice and gambling advice. Why doesn't any of that reflect on you and you don't have any money because you're flat broke? I don't get it. What's I think, question? Yes. Uh, question, Adam. I think you're referring to my Geno's Picks video, which will be starting their 10th season this year, which against the 10th season? Yep, which historically against the spread are 62%. Excuse me, that's a lie. Uh, my best year ever was 62%. They're 58% against the spread. Now, as you know, AJ, you seem like a smart guy. You know what the you know what the uh, point is worth to make money gambling-wise? What does your winning percentage have to be when you're gambling to make money? I don't gamble. I have my life together. Okay. Ah! Uh, <laughs> you think that was a good comeback? This guy's fucking boring. I, I'm paying AJ to call you <laughs> and berate you. I'm sorry. AJ, AJ you're right. Gambling, gambling's not good. G gamblers just, always end up just, broke. He's so sure about his bets and his picks and whoever it is. I don't really watch sports either, but it's like, why? <laughs> Say it again! <laughs> like wait, 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 wait. Stop, I mean, stop. Do Lang. you watch sports? You can Not really. Oh my God! I'm, I'm not a fifth. Shut up! Let AJ talk. It's my show. I'm sorry. Get AJ, going. Go ahead. AJ, I think I it's okay. Really Take the cock sports, out of your I mouth. Mean, Shut turn up. down the fucking off. Westminster dog show. Oh my God! What are you afraid I'm of losing doing, your only Kevin, fucking caller? Uh, All right, cocksucker. You. What else? I don't let watch. Him my, talk. Um, let him so talk. Wait, I, you don't understand. This is talk. what's wrong. He's like, I don't watch. He said that like he was some. Let him make his point. He 
he's just You're scaring a- off all the other callers that were afraid to call in. Now they're going to be super afraid. Do you think they were sitting there with the, about yes, the call? Yes, they want to call. They, they don't have a job. Come all the on. callers that dial 877-962-684 and have their finger over the six. Like, I don't yeah. know. They see- AJ, go ahead. Uh, Come AJ. on, AJ. I'm hey, sorry, buddy. Hey, Kevin. Um, you uh, Are you having a good time with uh, Drunk Uncle Gino over there? Is it, Do you think it's a good show? You having fun with him? Yeah, I love AJ. I mean, I love Gino. Well, you love me. Uh, uh, thanks, man. Uh, we're, I'm, we're, we're, we are big fans of you as well. We, we're big fans of Kevin Brennan. We liked you. Uh, shout outs. We like We you, and his book club. <laughs> AJ, it was, it was up to me. You be my co-host and Gino would be calling and then we could hang up. Well, on I'm from Jersey, so I could definitely come in to Chompound one day and uh, See, they, hang out they, with they're, the Free Speech Network. that other show. And they, this guy thinks, this guy thinks, because he said Chompound and he's like, oh, he thinks right now. And this is what yeah. you miss by taking this side. I don't watch sports. <laughs> that's what's wrong with sports. Hey, do you, AJ, what do you do for a living? Watch this. I work in an office. Uh, I don't think that's important to what I do for a living. What do he's, you do for a living? He's FBI. He's in the FBI. Uh, I'll tell you what I do for a living, AJ. Wake up around 1 o'clock today, have a couple drinks, come to a podcast with my buddy Kevin, uh, get paid to uh, travel around, tell jokes and do sports, and, you know, just enjoy myself and he get to field calls from you while you sit there and say, I don't watch sports. And you act like people who do are some kind of idiot. I didn't say that at all. I said, why are you so broke when you give gambling advice? How much do you want? Do you want to got a valid point? The point is, I'm not, I'm not trying to take sides. here. I'm saying like gambling's a slippery slope. I don't really gamble. I gamble on my picks. Like Jimmy the Greek, you make money off of gamblers. Is that right? You put it to you this way. Watch, you make money. Watch this. And AJ, shut up one around. second. I'll tell you how I make money. So last, so last season, I do these videos. For do, you S- only, do you make money only we, uh, the weeks that the NFL is playing? Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I get paid by this website, SBR Sports Videos, to do these videos. So but only sixteen weeks a year. No, and, this, and the playoffs, season, and playoffs, and playoffs. And I did college football, and I did. Okay, so it's more than ju- it's more than the, just the the simple uh, NFL but season. This is this is how you get the best of both worlds. Because gambling, it's just the rush, right? Yeah. So imagine I get paid, say, two hundred dollars a video offhand, and every time you do a video, Which you want you your pick to be correct, right? Right. So because the better my winning percentage, the more likely I am to keep, you know, to, for them to ask me right. for more videos every right. week. So I'm rooting for my picks and getting all the rush, but I can't lose because I've already gotten paid. But you still Seems gamble like you on top of that? No, I'm saying I get the rush of gambling just... Oh. Like, so you I'll, still bet, don't you? Let me tell you something. I frigging had the uh, Patriots last year in the Super Bowl. Did you? Yeah, like, and, and uh, my pick covered. I had the Patriots and the over, and it covered. We're but talking you, about one pick that covered? I'm saying in general, yeah, are you I'm making saying, money? Is, but this is my point. I yeah, just want to say one I was thing. rooting against my pick. I was rooting against my pick because I wanted Atlanta to win that game just because it would have been such a great yeah, upset. Right, right. And my buddy, who does actually Hello? gamble with physical money, and he's a bookie, wanted Atlanta to win. So I was rooting for Atlanta. Like, I didn't care if I covered that bet. It was the last pick of the year, and I'd already made my money. Like, you understand how lucky I am to get paid to gamble and not actually have to put money out but still get all the rush of every gambler you know that's why i mean the the guys in gambling the guys who make money are the bookmakers and the bookie without a doubt there's a reason vegas has those huge buildings the gamblers don't make money and that's the point like these gino's picks videos i do i should point out it's never been me saying i know football right it's never been me going let me know let me tell you i got a system comedy videos right it's, I just take the you two know. teams, I talk about them, you know, and whichever team the joke makes fun of, I pick against in the spread. And Hello? historically, 58% over nine years. You're not going for the joke. You're going, you go with who you think is going to win the spread. No, the spread. whatever the joke. No one, on that's the why there's a spread. Hello? Whatever the, whatever team oh, the joke you, makes oh, fun you of. Ever say, you don't know how much fun I'm having talking over this fucking f- that doesn't watch sports. Uh, but I whatever team picks, thing. whatever it's team, like, is. You're not, go- you're, you're not going for the team, you're going for the joke. Well, if I were to go for the team, wouldn't that be me being another one of these idiots? Yeah. I know no yeah. one knows gambling. Right. That's why they spread. That's why if you if you go by what color you know is sick. it's you have the same odds as as someone who thinks they know the spread. And that's just it. It's not like I'm saying, oh, I know sports. Like I'm having fucking like everything. They've proven like you can get a woman who knows nothing about sports. And hey, just why go, don't we have AJ? That woman knows nothing about sports. <laughs> hey, get it, hey, AJ. I called hey, you. Yeah. F- hang up on him, AJ. No.
Bye bye. Hang up on him. Hang up on show. It's hang up on AJ right now. It's my show. You gotta get to look. Don't hang up, please. Don't hang up. Leave him on. Beg me, beg me, AJ. My show. Beg me, AJ. If you give a woman and you say what what city do you like better or what colors of the of the team do you like better, they have the same odds as somebody like a guy who thinks he knows the NFL, who watches every game, watches every fucking gambling show, watches the draft. It's set up that way for you to lose. Perfect example. I didn't know. I thought you. I I, so you're basically going thing. for the joke. Whatever's a better joke. Yeah, yeah. I, just I didn't know that. That's puts a whole different thing. Yeah, and, like yeah. how dare you think that I'm one of these guys? Like I know football. How dare I thought I thought that's what you did because you, you don't give a shit because you you're you're, you're a bookie. You you're didn't a bookie. ask. No, you're not bad. <laughs> like, there was a game hey, last. There was. Right, a, let me let me hear in. what AJ has to say. Okay. Um, just for all the bullies out there, you know, guys like Gino, you're sick. All right, you're sick and you need help. And we want to help you. I want you to succeed, Gino. I want you to be successful. We want you to be successful. Nothing makes me laugh more than seeing you succeed. Because, you know, you're too busy stalking that horse, Sarah. And uh, riding the banana cart. I do watch the show. I'm a big fan of In Hot Water. Uh, I'm also a big fan of this episode of Burning Bridges where Kevin uh, is just kind of berating you. And uh, I like how every sentence that Kevin says, in reaction to what you say, starts with no, 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 no. It's, it's great. But again, you're sick. You need help. All right. And we're going to help you. We are here for Who's you. Who's we? We love you. Who's we? Uh, we know we, the, the royal we. I think you guys know who we are. Women's Entertainment Television? Yeah, I think the royal we means he had uh, to take a majestic piss. Goes, hey, that was actually pretty close. It's Black Women's Entertainment Center. <laughs> All right, thanks, AJ. You left him on. All right, guys. You got what so you much, deserved. Uh, you left him on. You know you're sick. <laughs> don't trust me. I know. I don't That's your trust fucking you. show. That's my first call ever. I, I choked. Yeah. And let me say that. I choked on my first call. That was his first ever call? Look at this. I, uh, try it again. Nick, That's you're my... burning bridges with Kevin Brennan. Try it. It feels good. Nick, you're burning bridges hey, with guys. Kevin Brennan. Da, 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 Hell da. yeah. Where's the confetti? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Gino, uh, I got a question for you, and then I got a question for Kevin. What's the uh, What's the question, when Nick? Was, yes, when was the I've last heard. Time you had a drink. What's that? What's that, Nick? When was the last time you had a drink? Mm. That is so good. He's drinking right now. He's drinking a Samuel a Adams. Bit. Oh, Don't you have any running bits here other than Steve Marshall sitting back <laughs> and freaking Jimmy trying to kill the people in the green room? Wait, <laughs> someone else call in. He needs Wait, to that practice. That was your that was your guy calling in. No, Nick has a question for you. Oh. Nick, yeah, what's your question yeah, what, for what Kevin? Oh, wait, it's his show. You ask. Or is is my gag set up too? <laughs> you have to make your gag. Go ahead, Nick. Well, Nick, what do you think about when AJ? When was the last time you put on sunscreen? <laughs> oh my god we love the show it's, it's nick you tremendous. really got me this time i know he's still dead and everything nick what's nick's uh twitter what's your twitter name thank you nick nasty nick, is on. look nasty is dope no nasty gotta, that guy's name is uh God forgive me. I gotta me. block these guys all the time. It's so. Why do you block them? It's because I sometimes I just get I get an, enough is enough. I already what got you I got enough Twitter followers. I used to not be able to afford to block them. You know, and back in the day, it was like when you're poor, you gotta eat fucking a uh, a uh, rice. Back and, in the day, you, know, you gotta eat fucking uh, uh that that something cheap. Ramen noodles. Ramen noodles. Thank Johnson, you. Johnson Titans. Yeah, rice and beans, whatever. So now I got more Twitter followers, so I just block them because I can afford to. Yeah. It's like I buy a steak, I don't even eat it all. You make their day when you block these people. I know, that's why I do it. That guy, AJ, if I block him, he's going to be like, oh, I got to Gino. They think they... I know, so it's a game. It's a game. I blocked them, then they... I just well, made his one guy saying his name. Begged, doesn't watch one guy sports. begged Liz. One guy begged Liz at at the fucking comedy cellar. Can you ask Kevin to unblock me? <laughs> the boss is here. I know. Don't, don't fuck this try up. Try to be funny. <laughs> Too late for that. No. Somebody asked Liz at the comedy cellar. Liz, can you tell Kevin to unblock me? So she sent me the fucking. She sent me the uh, text. I go. I'm not gonna unblock the guy. Cause then I looked up what he said, and then they say like nasty shit. I don't care. I know it's Twitter, but I still sometimes I just gotta teach him a lesson. No, I, I, it's I, like my kids. I gotta teach him a lesson. Sometimes I just let him get away with it. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes your wife, I gotta teach her a lesson. What happened to your girlfriend? That must be. You must feel terrible about. It. Is that why you're drinking so much? No. You're just some fucking comic, right? What do you give a shit? No, this is my ex from way back. I oh, dated the her one seven you cared years. About? 
I don't the know. One that, the one that broke you? Yeah. Well, the, I, I've been broken to begin with. So wait. So now you're dating a comic, and is that still going strong? No, but I put my dick in her on the on the. I'm uh, banging her on the reg. That's probably healthy, right? What? Banging her on the regular. Oh, I, I thought you said. I thought you said on the rag. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, I, I do mumble, and it's one one syllable. One. Well, that's when you fuck a girl all. when she's when she's a bloody mess. I want. I when I, I think of your Sam I, Adams when bottle. I, when I fuck a girl. I spilled my drink, Allie. <laughs> when I fuck a girl, man, you're a mess. It's like worse than having my kids on the show. <laughs> I spilled my milk, Dad. <laughs> hey, look at that. Nick is calling back. Kevin We're follows you on Twitter. What's that? Yeah, I went to University of Tennessee. Did you? Where'd you go to school? And when I used to have sex with girls on condom, I used to wear. A, wait, wait. What'd you wear? <laughs> what'd you wear? You got me so on tilt, Gino. I can't even. Did talk. you wear a what? I wore a condom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I wouldn't get skin. Oh, stop the, oh, the 70 minute mark. He said something hysterical. A oh, so condom. I <laughs> oh, so I wouldn't get cancer. So I wouldn't get skin cancer. Ah, now you're playing with us. <laughs> When's the last time you put on sunscreen? <laughs> Nick, I love that guy. That's my nephew's name, too. I love it. It is your nephew calling in? No, no, no. My nephew's funnier than any of us. Trust me. Oh, that's what they always say. That was, this guy's oh, hilarious. I'm and then you meet him and he's not funny at all. Oh, you gotta be, you gotta get him at the right time. What time is that? So next time I'll come at that time. Oh, the guy's the funniest guy in the world. They said about Dave Juska that. Thank you. Juska's the funniest guy in the world. Then you have him on the show. What's he just that? sits there. What's that, Sam? I'm his twin brother, Sam. Yes, you are. Yes, you. Oh my God. You go on dates? You act like this on dates? No. How you act on a date? I don't go on dates. I do a stand up, say, meet me for dinner, and then Yahtzee. It's still a date if you meet him for dinner. <laughs> How you act on a date? You make a lot of jokes. It depends. You don't do an. You don't do a fucking. Uh, no. Ventriloquist act. I can't you? think of the last time when I'm. Uh, I'm very normal on a date. Well, but you, I don't I, go on dates. Like I meet girls, and then we just start. Then we go on dates. It's not like I'm like, hey, meet me on a date. Fucking you. Anyone I've ever. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Anyone <laughs> I've ever been on a date with, I've there's there's a there's a previous history there. It's not like I'm blind dating. No, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying when you're on a date, when you do, when you when you go to the Cracker Barrel, or whatever, when you just when you just sitting there, like, do you what do you are you goofy? Or like you try to I'm be always like this. Am I be charming? I am charming. You have Nick call in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, this is my friend Nick calling in, and then I say you're. Uh, like then I'll save you. Then you're, I say having, you're having to, dinner with Gina. Pre-set up bits to impress your fucking lucky lady. <laughs> When you're at that down under, what's what that down? What's this? that down under? What's it down? I can never remember that fucking outback. Outback. I can never remember the outback. So there was a bar. I, can't I know it's like one o'clock on a Monday, which is like the middle of night. It's like this is like I can, one o'clock on Monday is so hard for me. But look, it's too early. It was just Saturday, and now I'm fucking talking to you at a desk. Hey, buddy. I can't remember outback restaurant. Outback steakhouse. You, you know what I'm saying. I do. They have an outback near your it's house. Funny right? you say that. Do they have any malls on on uh, East Harlem? Yeah, actually, I'm on uh, I'm two blocks from this huge one with a Target and a uh, Planet Fitness and all this shit. Yeah, they have a Target. Oh wow, someone had bacon and semen. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I didn't have bacon today. I knew that was coming. I knew he was gonna clean that one up. Da 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 da. Ah, we really <laughs> people are fucking falling out of their cars. They're laughing so hard now. <laughs> It's gonna be there's gonna be fucking fifty car pileups because of that Gino fucking uh, semen and egg. <laughs> Bacon. Uh, Gino, go ahead and call. Oh wait, Gino's here. Hey, uh, Ryan, go ahead and call in again and do another bit. <laughs> <laughs> you have more bits prepared than I do, and it's my show. There you go. Take the bottom caller. I can't even see. I can't see. How can you see that? Say Shane. Say Shane, you're burning bridges. Shane, you're burning bridges. <laughs> hey, I got a question for Kevin. Calling back. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, I got a question for Kevin. I want you to want you to try to put a little enthusiasm into the question. All right, what's the question? Um, is Compound Media going to start selling Burning Bridges shirts? Because watching you sell or try and sell the Misery Loves Company T-shirts that you had was just really, really pathetic. <laughs> Who's this, Keith? Who's this, Keith the cop? <laughs> Who, who no. called? Who, who, who is this? Shane, follow me if you don't already this DM me because you're getting a shirt from me for that <laughs> my, statement. My name is Shane. <laughs> what did I say? I said oh, Shane. Oh, Shane, wait, Shane, are you from Texas? Yes. 
You, he's he's he came to the show the other night. What what are you what are you saying? What are you trying to say? You don't like the uh, shirt? Funny, I can't. I, first of all, you, you know how annoying everything is to shirt. do. <laughs> Make another fucking shirt. Then I gotta have another design. It's everything's a nightmare. In hot water is coming everything. out with three new T-shirts. Okay, well you have a partner. I don't have a partner. I got two shows. <laughs> so I'd be like, I don't like that show. I don't. You have my size. Uh, do you, is this waterproof? I don't know, man. It's a fucking shirt. It's a, not a big commitment. It's twenty dollars. Christian Hackenberg, where hey, do you Shane, go to college? Are you the guy from uh, Shane? Are you the guy from Texas? Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. So, so are you just joking, or you're saying me selling the shirt after the show was pathetic? Yeah, I was just joking. You know, because I was that. Bottom <laughs> it is pathetic. No, you know what like, it is. Ryan, I love this kid. No, Shane's cool. He went. He came to the show. He came to the show when I was in a. Uh, ta- that's a genuine guy. Like he's like, he's like, was it not funny? I'm just trying. I really Shane, respect that. He's Shane, like, listen. Shot. Yeah. No, Shane's right yeah. because funnier than me, and he's trying. So no, the, God bless the problem him. is selling t-shirts. Like the whole show, Shane. I'm being kind of a dick on stage, right? Right. I'm making fun of people. Like, I'm being a dick. I'm making people cry and laugh, you know, whatever. Then after the show, I'm going to be like, can you buy my shirt? Like, I I'm a bitch. Merch. I'm a bitch merch. now. I'm like, I'm uh, at their mercy. Right. And it's all you need exactly. someone to sell your shirts for you. So when I when I did a gig with Carrie Caravas, I just stood there and, oh, Car- yeah. and Carrie was like, buy his fucking shirt, you asshole. Because it's hard for me. <laughs> Yeah, that's that'll be a killer shirt. Burn, look at this. I love burning bridge. <laughs> that's a great shirt. No, it's not. It stinks. No, and instead of instead of that, it should have your face where the fire is, and it'd be like I, Kevin Brennan, uh, and and make the fire like the D in bridges or something. Make the fire. You're one gonna of, make it. You're gonna make it for I me. I got my best people on it. You, no. I say yeah, it's I, 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 is not bad. I say yep. it's I, then your face with the sunglasses instead of the heart. And then and then it's like bridges, and you make one of the letters. Anyway, anyway, it's a the whole thing's a big fucking headache, and I don't even make that much money because the guy makes them. It's like after shipping and handling. I don't know why they're still handling my shirts, but after shipping and handling, it's like thirteen, twelve bucks a shirt. So I'm making like eight bucks a shirt if I sell them for twenty dollars. But it's, it's not a lot of money. Paid for marketing. It is marketing, but it's still it's like they want they you know do they want your size? But mostly it's the fact that I'm begging them to buy a shirt. I'm standing there like some bitch. Can you buy my shirt? That guy above Steve, do you have your reading glasses on? That's nasty, nasty dope. You should take that call. All right, I'll take it. All right, Shane, good to see you again. Shane, God bless you, man. He's got a hot girlfriend, too, so. You, really? Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah. She'll call. Call who? I don't know. <laughs> Go ahead, nasty, nasty dope. Do the dope. thing. Do the thing. You're in hey, you're burning. Oh, no, nasty, you did a fucking thing. Watch this. Remember this. Nasty, uh, hey, uh, Raphael, you're burning bridges with Kevin Brennan. He's Raphael? What oh. kind of a fucking bitch name is that? Just let him uh, An Italian name. Mexican name. Huh? Oh man, um, it's an Italian name, buddy. Well, anyway, Gino, I was gonna ask you. So, how come you got blocked from Black Sports Online? Were you being racist? I called them absolutely ignorant because about uh, two weeks ago they put an an art when the Ravens I'm did not out, sign Colin you. Kaepernick and 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 his girlfriend, whoever he's dating, put out a tweet that compared the uh, Ravens owner Biscoli or Bisholi to Django. Put out a picture of the owner being hugged by Ray Lewis and then put out a picture of Django where the where the, the guy hugs uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. And despite, What's the problem with that? Despite all that, Black Sports Online just it goes, if you believe Colin Kaepernick isn't in football right now because he's not good, if you don't believe he's being blackballed in the NFL, you're either a racist or a white supremacist. And I just retweeted the article saying, your opening line is why you're so fucking ignorant. Although I didn't say fucking, but I did say ignorant. And they blocked me. Because it's, that's they want to make, that's what bothers me. They made me. your day. You say when you get blocked, they made, you're making someone's day. No, it annoyed me because that's what that's the thing. They, they think they're so above it. The bottom line is it's like, that's what Colin Kaepernick does. He makes it about race when he's just not that good. And he knows he's not that good, so he's playing the race card. We'll get a this. job. We'll get a job on the NFL Network soon enough. No, he won't. Yeah, he will. Because he's an asshole as a human being. That's another reason he's not on our team. Freaking Marshawn Lynch just sat. We're getting oh, pancakes. Lynch, oh, Raphael, thanks for the call. We're doing pancakes very soon. Marshawn Lynch just sat. <laughs> for the national anthem and 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 no one hey, he's doing a plug for pancake house that guy drove an hour to see me when i was uh doing a show in la he i was doing a show in long beach where does he live 
I, I, he told me, but it was, he drove an hour. He's like, hey, we'll give you a ride back to LA. We drive back. I'm like, let's, so it's three in the morning. We hit IHOP. Fantastic. Because you and Nasty is dope. Nasty dope and his hot wife. And I think they might be, I think they might be looking for a threesome. Let me know. Hang in. Oh, yeah. With yeah, you. Yeah. With yeah. you. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Ta-da. You'll, you'll save any twosome. Ta-da. Um, but was like, but there's a, Marshawn Lynch just sat for the national anthem and they said, and his coach Del Rio was like, yeah, it's not, it's a non-issue. Guys can because he's not hurt yet. Once he gets hurt, they're gonna be like, "What the fuck is he doing?" No, they won't care. Yeah, they will. Once he gets whether, hurt, it's not about whether he's hurt. It's about whether he's a good contributor to the team on the field and in the locker room. Lynch oh, is, wake up. and Lynch is a guy that Lynch, had a gun charge. He had a he had a hit and run back in Buffalo. He was associated with a, a buddy of his, his had his SUV. His last name is Lynch. Yeah, so, and his name is Lynch. Yeah, so in relation sure to Carmen Lynch, who you can see at the Edinburgh Comedy Festival all month. Her show is called lynched just another plug nice. for my friend. yeah nice. are you um, friends with her what's that you carmen lynch her? no no you ever she... you ever go up on her <laughs> she's a big girl she's a, big, she, she's a tall girl she's, she's a tall glass she's a rail water. she's not a big girl she's a tall skinny broad yeah but she's she's a she's long in the legs it's fantastic um she's in edinburgh with my buddy bronson right now nobody cares bronson who bronson jones is he black no shouldn't he be he's another <laughs> Shouldn't he be Bronston Jones? Nah. Ask anybody. Bronson's America, a Bronson. white name, Charles Bronson. No, it's not Br Charles Bronson. That's his last name, yeah. idiot. Yeah, Bronston Jones. Jones automatically is black, unless you're Isn't Davey Jones. Jones guy playing the NFL. Davey Jones. Yeah, that Jones guy. Remember Deacon? No, if you're if you're Bronston <laughs> Jones, every time I look at his picture, like on Twitter, I'm like, why is he not black? Shouldn't he be black? Bronston Jones. He's just a bearded. It's just dude. dumb. It's dumb. It's a dumb name. Change your name to like Jack something. Jack Wilson, if you're that, if you're what, Bronston Jones, give it to a black Maybe guy. Maybe change his name wrong with Bronston it. White. Steve White. Steve White. Sean plug, White. You're going to plug him? Steve White. Exactly. Anyway, uh, <laughs> any more callers? Nick I'll call him for you. I like how they all call for you. Who's Nick? Uh, he called earlier. It says calling back. Oh, go ahead. Take his call. Nick, you're burning bridges with Kevin Brennan and Gino Bisconti. I was just joking, Kevin, man. It's it's all good. You follow me on Twitter because I asked for it because we made fun of uh, the guy with the the taxi cab bullshit. What's his name? Ben Bailey? Yeah, Ben Bailey. Yeah, yeah. Do, ben is Bailey this what you, what goes on when I'm not here? Does anyone know anyone's <laughs> fucking name in this show? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Ellie's like, nope. Wait, what is it, Nick? What You were friends on Twitter because of what? Because uh, I made fun of Ben Bailey because he followed me, and then I, I shouted out and said, hey, Kevin, uh, Ben Bailey followed me, so can you follow me? And you said, sure, so you followed me. And I was, like, super appreciative because, you know, you're the shit and all. Uh, my wife loves you, too. She's, she's actually the first caller to your MLC podcast. Where, where, where you guys live? We live in Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay, yeah. Oh, Vols. Are you a Vols yeah. fan or a Vandy fan? Uh, well, I, I I'm actually a volunteer, so there you yeah, go. Go figure. No, he's a volunteer. Yeah. No, he's a he volunteer. Is in the no, community. Uh, no, he's saying he went to the University of Tennessee. Is oh, that so what you're yeah. saying, Nick? I work at the university. There you go. As what? Yeah, uh, I'm a researcher. Were you the Were you the guys who came to the comedy cellar and told Liz that five hour energy drinks were fine? Yeah, yeah, that's what that was us. Ah, uh, why don't you come to the show? Why don't you come to the show or whatever? We did go to the show downstairs. Was I on the show? No, no, you weren't there. You you had just left or something like that. So so you went to a show I wasn't on because you were a big fan. Well, we we thought you were going to be there, and yeah. uh, evidently uh, so we you, were at the late show. But you're really you uh, you're really like a scientist. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes when I do a five hour energy, I get like a, a heart palpitation. Is that Why good? Why are you taking it? It's not safe. <laughs> Shut up. So I'm talking to a guy who's drinking in the afternoon that's going to drive a bunch of kids home from school. <laughs> not against no, their will, there, though. Is there a chance? Uh, is there a chance uh, I could have a heart attack? Uh, very little. It's not enough. Ca it, it's the caffeine that causes your heart to do that. So it's fine if I have a little heart palpitation. Why don't you just ditch those both for a coffee? Well, you, you feel that jitter? You, you feel that jitter from the ca the the caffeine? Yeah, but it's so fun. So that's actually what you're. It's not actually heart palpitations. If you have heart palpitations, you have a real problem. Oh, so it's just that it feels like a heart palpitation, but it's just my something jittering. <laughs> yep. What's jittering though? Any stroke? Uh, your nervous system. <laughs> it, okay. The interaction. Sometimes also some. I you know Dr. Steve from uh oh he's he's friends with Kumia. He's 
he's right down the road from us. Who's Doctor? Who's Doctor Steve? The guy on the radio show on Sirius? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doctor Fluid. Ah. Sirius XM, where they're constantly playing my album Uncle Gino is amazing on Raw Dog Radio. I love Gary. Sit down. <laughs> yeah, sit down, Gary. Yeah, he lives in Tennessee. Doctor Steve lives in Tennessee. You know, yeah. Nick, yeah, I'm a huge was... Tennessee Vols fan. Huge. All right, we gotta. All yeah. right, Steve, we gotta go. <laughs> Nick, Nick, oh Nick, I'm sorry, Doctor. I can't even see. Nick, we gotta go. Why Thanks you... for all the. I can't see, and I'm not used to dealing with the teleprompter. Yeah, I'll let you know if there's another caller. Jesus Christ! Yeah, I'm sorry you're not used to having callers. Sorry. There's a lot of pressure here. Why do you? So anyway, do you... I call, do you... call Doctor Steve. I just get confused with names. I forgot to ask Nick if to to. T I forgot to tell Nick. To... Oh, he'll call back, and he's a researcher at Tennessee. I forgot to tell Nick to tell you that coffee is. Black coffee is better for you than any of that shit. No, it's not. Yes, anyway, it is. No, yes, this five-hour energy, five energy, five hour energy works faster. Anyway, I called Dr. Steve or I sent him Black a Black coffee surprisingly works. So I sent him a thing on. I sent him Garrett a got that. <laughs> Garrett got oh that. God. You would think the black coffee would sit there and expect you to do something. Can someone take the show away from me? I don't know how Berg does it. You drink him. You make me want to drink. God, you're so annoying. Anyway. No, so I my, one day my my left arm, the hairs on my left arm were all like were like ro risen. Oh my god, I just remembered my dream last night, but go on. So and that was the only thing. Everything else is fine. My left hair arms were all fucked. That's not healthy. Give me the let, let me read the let me. So I, you so I, me I the instructions. No, so I, I asked Doctor I asked Doctor Steve. I go, is that okay? He goes, yeah, it's fine. He goes, maybe a heart attack. He said on Twitter. So everybody's like, aren't you gonna help him? So he sent me a DM. He goes, what are the symptoms? So it's fine. He said it's fine. Your left arm. It's like, again, the nervous system acts weird when you're nervous or when you're take. It's fine. I don't, I don't drink the whole thing. When I've I, One time I drank the whole thing. It. I thought I was going to die. Yeah, that's why I make it small so you can't read it. <laughs> I can't read it. Are you an idiot? That's ah! why they, that's why they make the I can't know that. That's why they make the fine print fine so you can't read it. So then after you. Oh, uh, those up, commercials. Because I'm a big. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Like, if you if you look it up, they say black coffee. Because they used to say coffee's bad for you because, and you can understand this. It's not good for you. No, because when they first did the studies back in the 50s, they're like, oh, it causes heart disease and blah, 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 and cancer. You know why? Because everyone in the survey that drank coffee also did what? Smoked cigarettes. And did cocaine. Well, well, they didn't say if they were cool or not. But, so you've got guys like, yeah, uh, if you drink coffee, you're going to get lung cancer. And well, they didn't oh, say that. I'm telling you. But now if you drink black coffee, and this him is a, blank. This they, is a they, fact. You can look this up. The more black coffee you drink, it's inversely proportional to your chances of getting cirrhosis of the liver <laughs> and uh, several types of colon cancer. If you drink more, and the doctor just if you drink more coffee or less coffee, or black coffee, not cream and sugar. And my doctor, oh, black coffee gives you a cirrhosis of the liver. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Freddy Krueger, does it? <laughs> I just had someone check my colon. I'm fine. I'm fine, everybody. He said there's nothing wrong with my colon except for the taste. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, my God. You're such a hack, but I love it. <laughs> Ask me if I'm sure it was a doctor. Ask you should be on one of those morning zoo shows <laughs> where it's so early. People don't get the jokes. They know you're making them. They just don't get them. Sorry, I was running. Like, that guy's hilarious. I don't get any of the jokes because <laughs> they never make sense, and they come at like a mile a minute. So wait, you're saying black coffee is good or bad for you? It's very good for you. You said it creates, you get more mo colon cancer. No, no, I'm saying the original studies back in the 50s, the, the, the group they were testing also were all smokers. They, they, drank, they drank and smoked. You don't know this. If, but just talk to a guy who works at the University of Tennessee. He's a scholar. Nick, he said five-hour energy was were fine. He went he said by it was the, fine. Like, uh, the, it's the same thing. Like if you go one knuckle into like a girl on a first date, she's like, it's fine. She's not thrilled about it, but she's like, it's fine. One knuckle. Who goes one knuckle in? <laughs> now I'm gay. That's right. a t-shirt. That's a t-shirt. One knuckle in. It's one knuckle in. Commit. <laughs> no, that was back in the fifties. One but... knuckle in. Oh my God, I'm you're from the fifties. What? What, Uncle Gino, one knuckle in. Uncle Gino is amazing. Anyway, well, we really, <laughs> I can't say I didn't enjoy it, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Sarah. So Sarah broke your heart? Was she no. a regular white girl with blonde hair? Yeah. Like every girl, or every girl from Tennessee. Is that what she was, a Not white girl with blonde Tennessee. hair? 
No, you go south. You go down south. Every woman has one blonde hair because the, if they have blonde hair, they have blonde hair. If they don't have blonde hair, they color blonde. No, no. And all, everybody, why have everybody else has blonde hair? The running gag is no. The run, It's a fact. Like I, this girl's great. I love her because she's the one that split up. And since then, I've actually focused on comedy. It's been going very well. Because I was trying, to, I was half-assing comedy. Yeah, hey, because you had to satisfy a woman. Yeah, but no, it was, I was half-assing. Trying to satisfy a woman will ruin you. But I was half-assing comedy in the relationship. She's like, let me make this easy for you. I'm out. Focus on comedy. I, I would see you getting real annoying. I mean, the fact that she's been with you seven years. Me? Yeah. Me? Every, Interrupting you? Me? I when you're just trying to make a point? Me? Every time. Being annoying? <laughs> she went, every time you show up, there's like a beer in your hand. Which just gets a little, uh, oh. you know, it's charming when you're like 20 and then you know when what you're drove like her nuts? 35, you're like, you know what? You know what drove her nuts? She had a real job, so she'd be like, I'd be like, what day is it? She's like, it's okay, look at the TV. I can see they're doing something with the TV. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what day is it? Oh, no, I'd be like, what day? She's like, it's Tuesday. I'm like, all right. Uh, she's like, how do you not know what day it is? I'm like, let me know when it's Thursday. That's when I have a gig again. She did not enjoy that. She did uh, not were you like kidding that. or you really didn't know? I no idea what day it is. I know what day it is now every you're day because happy I do go a lock. sheet. No, you're happy go lucky, which is fun when you're young. And after a while, you get like, come on, man. Why? Here's a fact. Here's a fact. Because they people, women want to have family. You want to know an amazing... Women want to have families. Not because they want to, because their biological clock tells them to have a family. Do you want it? Because women, because women don't give a shit about 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 money and logic and oh. basic stuff like that. You want to know a fun fact I learned this week when I did? It'd be fun to save this segment. When I did the James Altucher podcast, which will air this who, James, Tuesday. Who? James Altucher will air this Tuesday. Who's that? that? He's British. No, he's some guy. What fucking name is? He's that? one of those guys that was a millionaire eight times over, whatever. Yeah. Did you see his bank account? I like when people go, "He's a millionaire eight times." Over. Show me the bank account. No, but I mean, show he, me the bank I'm account. I'm not trying to impress you with. The, I guess I am. No, but they I, all say like, "Oh, Trump's a billionaire." Where? Where? Show me the. Show me the bank account. Show it to me. My point is, everybody's like, oh, the guy's a billionaire. Based on what? Because he told you? I got a big cock. Are you going to take my word for it? No, I'm still exactly. walking funny. So wait till I show you. I'm still walking funny. I don't need to see a video. Hey, uh, how many times a day does the average, how many times on average a day does a child laugh? This is the thing. This is because you said happy You're go. Fucking it? Like what kind of a, what do you mean? On you average. your dick? What do you, what do you, because how, you, many day, how many times a day? Because, kind of a, what, is that even a survey? Where, it's what a you, fact. They did a study on average. 62. 300. 300 times a day a kid laughs. Yeah. Now, how many times on average a day does an adult laugh? Me? I'd say once. <laughs> on a good day. Five. Five. Uh, no way. The average adult laughs five times a day and kids yeah. laugh 300? Yeah. So what are, we, what are we telling kids? No, kids are happy. As you get older, you put more and more responsibility no, on no, yourself. You know, you know what's so sick about it? Because I have kids, and, you know, my kids get a fidget spinner, and they puts it on his nose, and he's spinning it. And, and he's, he's happy. He's loving it. And then and then you get older, and you got to you gotta fucking jerk off and hang yourself at the same time <laughs> to, to get the same kind of pleasure. So it's like, who's winning? What, with, are adults with, winning? <laughs> we're, we're so pathetic that we have to go like, can I just jerk off? Now I got to fucking hang myself and maybe die. Is it that good? Don't get addicted to sending dick pics. That is not the answer. Why do you keep wiping the mic off? Because oh, I, because I, because whatever. I spit when I talk. <laughs> I, I do. I, I don't. I don't like to talk close to people because because they're always wiping their face. I'm like, and I would say, am I spitting on it? They go, no. And I go, I know I am. Just say I am. Maybe they... I'll back up. Or I should have one of those things where those fucking ISIS women use with a scarf on their face so they catch all my spittle. Burka? No. Yeah. Uh, Hajij, what are they called? A burka is the whole outfit. Hijab? Hijab. Yeah, you would know what women wear. Sit down, Garrett. <laughs> he walks right into it every time. That's how time. you call everybody a <laughs> Poor AJ. AJ was just calling with a point. You can't take... Garrett, you can't... explain the AJ call to him without using the word. Explain this. You can't take criticism. I can take criticism. You, you have your boys call in, set up, pre-set up calls. You don't even understand. You're putting up with exactly what you hate, the people you block. I don't give a fuck. I just like a call like because I can pretend I'm Mike and a mad dog. Man, you fucking three blind mice, motherfucker. Shit. I just want phone calls, so I won't have to talk to you. Someone call in for a minute. Someone call in right now so that I'll he have can... my mom call in. I'll even like talking to her. Hold on. Call in, mom. Hold on. I'll call. I'll text her right now. My mom went out to eat with my with my. This is Brennan. Please call your son. My wife, my my wife and my wife and my mom went out to eat. They don't even invite me. <laughs> I said, I said, my mom is here having lunch with you. She lives, she don't even live in this town. I go, she didn't even invite me. Oh, she thought you were out of town. Who's out of town on Monday? Except Mark Norman. Who's out of town on Monday? Is he supposed to be here today? No, I asked like 20 people before he did our I asked show. You, he was huh? fantastic. No, I mean, whatever. 
No, I like the guy, but you know, it's it's a little too fucking comfortable with Mark. You know why? Because I, I try to insult him. He doesn't. He doesn't bite. Because he's a nice kid. <laughs> He's a classy act. He's a class act. He was raised right. He's just. Oh, he's like. He's right. like. Uh, who's that guy from the Jimmy Stewart? Remember, everybody was like a dick back in the day. It was all the Dean Martin bros would yeah. have Rickles and Dean Martin. Everybody oh, was me. And then Jimmy Stewart would just <laughs> do his dumb poems and laugh. Uh, it's like Mark Norman is. He's like our generation. He did the. He's like this generation's Jimmy Stewart. We did the roast this week. They they had a roast because Aaron and his lovely battle. Wife. No, no, fuck that. Aaron and his lovely wife are having a a kid, so they did kind of. A they did a baby roast. They did. Oh, that's a good idea. Instead of a baby shower. Yeah, and Mike Morse, uh, Mike Morse, God forgive me, who is also great, but Mike Cannon said, uh, said Aaron Berg has a book called has a book out called Kick Fucking a Prostitute While Being a Gentleman. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I lost my fucking mind on yeah, that. Everybody, nobody laughed but you. Oh no, everyone lost. Everyone lost their shit. Yeah, we gotta on get. That. I want to get him on a show too, you and I don't even on. know him. I don't even know him. He Mike just Cannon. recorded his album uh, at New York Comedy Club. It's coming out in a couple months. Who hasn't? My mom has a new album coming out too. It's like it, it gets to a point where it's like too much content. I disagree. I'm gonna wait till everybody put out puts out their album, then I'll put out mine. But, right, but here's the thing: if your album's good, it finds its way. It's, if it's not good. No, there are certain people that have been up here three days and they're like I'm putting out a half hour. It's like good, it's gonna suck. But if you can, in today's day and age, if you can, it, with all the platforms now, because TV sucks, if you can get regular play on Sirius XM because you have a genuinely funny album that's just you being funny, not you having a look because you're black that's or the Jewish plan. or white oh, that's or the young. Plan. You put out an album and then Sirius plays it and you make some money off of it? That's If you have genuine content, you put it out, you work on your new shit and keep we just doing, had yeah. Sean McCarthy. You know Sean McCarthy? The comics, he works for the comics comic or whatever. Oh, uh, the comic. I know that website. I don't know Sean personally. Anyway, he was, I think that's his name. Is that his name? Anyway, he was here a couple weeks ago. And he was. He said he could. He like he watches hour special. He says a lot of guys they don't have an hour. Right. They and, don't. And, and then if he says they don't have an hour, they flip out on him because he he says he gave his opinion. I don't think that he done that. Yeah, but I don't think cares? there's an hour. Plus an hour. An hour is, is hard because an hour should be an hour. It shouldn't be like it shouldn't be doing filler for an hour. No, without a doubt. But that's just it. If you can put out a, an album, if if you put out a, an album, an hour Long album. Story short, when's your hour coming out? Uh, I have no. You mean no, on? You just did an hour. No, on TV, no. No, I thought you did something. Didn't you just tape something in New York Comedy Club? Yeah, my album, Uncle Gino, is amazing. It debuted at number seven on Billboard. You can get it right now. Just go to GinoBisconti.com. Put that under my name. That's G as in Gino, E as in Eno, <laughs> N as in No, O as in O, B wait. as in Isconti. Wait, wait, wait. Go to GinoBisconti.com. You can order. Uncle Gino is are amazing. Are you getting a lot of hits on uh, Sirius? No, I because I just found out. I was talking to my friend uh, Aaron Berg, and he's like, "It takes like two weeks to get. It, it takes like a month or two to get into the rotation." Because I checked, I'm like, "Hasn't played yet. Like it's selling." How do you get into rotation? You got to know the guy. No, you have to send it to the people, and then they listen. I hope do they so. request it. I think they got to request well, no, it. They, I think they have request shows, but it also gets played in the rotation. But last I checked, last week, I didn't see a single fucking play. That's but it's selling, which is awesome. Good. And you're making money off of that? You're yeah. making money off your gambling thing? I, yeah. I don't gamble with a bookie. I get paid to tell people I to know. gamble. Okay, well, I'm not making enough money. So feel free to do donate. It. You know, you need a comedians of the compound. That's what you need. And another another uh, Burning Bridges. Where are we going to go? Detroit? Dude, come on. Cleveland? They love us. In, they love me yeah, in Detroit. Yeah, but that's a long drive. If we it's don't sell party. it out, huh? They love me in Detroit because of Artie. I opened for him once there. Now I, like, have this great following there. Artie, Artie Lang? No, Artie Fuqua. <laughs> Thanks for getting that. Well, you guys act like it's a like it's a. It's, he's Shut not up, a, Garrett. He's not one word. He's not a one word guy, is he? Artie's I a one. He is, in comedy right now, if you say Artie, if I say that, if we're talking comedians and I say Artie, who do you think? Artie Fuqua every time. Well, that's because you're at the <laughs> cellar kissing fuck. Uh, right, we I, gotta wrap this up. Do you, should you wrap it up or should I? <laughs> we don't have any more calls. Can I do my plugs? Yeah. Me and Kevin will be talking football every fucking week here. Where'd Christian Hackenberg go to college? Uh, While he's thinking, I will tell you, pick up my I album. Know, I know it wasn't Division One. Yes, it was. You pick up my album, Uncle Gino is Amazing. You can go to GinoBisconti.com, download it on What do you do with Kevin? Kevin, your your roommate? Kevin Dabrowski, he's not my roommate anymore, but he was the he was the uh, actual host. You can hear him. He's the first and last voice on my Uncle Gino is Amazing album. And please keep following me and Berg and the show in hot water. Two o'clock tomorrow, every Tuesday. So much fun. Your guest fun. tomorrow. You have any guests? Um, yes, we do. Thank you for asking. Our guest tomorrow is I forgot the fucking name. Our guest tomorrow is 
how did I forget? Oh, Dean Del Rey, the amazing Dean Del Rey, making his return to the show. The last time he was on, uh, Berg was Skyping, and he was so much fun. We're going to have him sit in Dean Del Rey. Then in two weeks, Mike. Dean Del Rey, he's black, right? Yeah. And yeah. then in two Ronston weeks. Ronston Jones should be black. Then in two weeks. Dean Del Rey. If he was white, he'd be like, come on, Dean Del Rey. Mike Vecchione. And then in three weeks next week, last week, pre-tape, uh, we will have the producer of Gino's Pick starting its 10th season, uh, uh, Joe Fernandez. Joe Fernandez. You don't know him, do you? He's a great comedian. Good kid. Everyone's a great comedian. Name a name someone who's not a great comedian. Name Gino one. Gino Visconti. Have uh, you seen that? Name fucking somebody. Hat? Everybody says like, oh, he's great. You want me to name, name a name? Name a name. Everybody's great. I I work with guys who aren't great at all. You want me to say Steve uh, Marshall a fifth fucking time on this show? Oh my god. <laughs> Was that on? I'm gonna be. <laughs> I'm. I didn't behave. I should have behaved. <laughs> I should have talked into the mic, maybe. Just talking to the mic. <laughs> I got Shapiro I, mumble I bring, into the mic I bring again. people on. I go, and now I tell them, talk into the Steve. mic. The mic is here to be talked into, okay? I really want to do name a comedian that, that I don't think August is I'm on August 26th. What, what is it? Almost, almost two Any comedian two that, two weeks any left. male comedian that used to be a model and suddenly decides that they can be a comedian, they're not, they're not funny. How Ricky Velez? No, he used to be a model? He should have been. Yeah. A model's <laughs> well, that's body. That's kind of gay. <laughs> He wears, he wears the real gay clothes, like real tight jeans and like so tight, real tight. Go on. This is when getting, is, look, Garrett's even getting in erect. Oh, even when I'm putting his pants on, I try to put his pants on. I'm like, these are so hard. It's harder than getting my my son's pants on. They're so tight. I got in the way of that. 26. Yeah, you won't even let, you won't even let anybody finish. I let your wife finish. <laughs> Order a whore, Garrett, and he walked right into it. He walked right into it. Do it again. Let's do that one again. Such a fucking. Hey, Whitney, you do it with mine. Watch this. You won't even let anyone finish, Kevin. We got another call? No. Okay, no, 26. 26, so I'll be in uh, Poughkeepsie. I think I might be sold out. I'm selling a lot of tickets up there. It's right across the street from the train stage. I think it's called Laugh It Up. You guys worked there, right? Yeah, I did New Year's there. Yeah, you, you co-feature? <laughs> I headlined with the lovely Alex Engelbert, who's in a who's timeout. Who's yes, another you are. great comedian. Everybody's great. Yeah. Every show's great. Every comedian's great. Every comedy club has great comedians, according to Gino Bisconti. Okay, we'll be back next week. On uh, and then uh, I killed it. <laughs> Coming up next, Anthony Kumi on the Kumiya Network, Compound What's Media. Show, right? Yeah. August 26, Poughkeepsie. God bless America. Burning bridges. Sorry, I didn't burn any bridge today. I don't think I burned any bridges. Why can't today. DeAndre shit outside? Oh, it has to shit outside. Fuck. Are we still on? Just keep talking while the music's playing. You're really, I don't know how women put up with you. When you go down them, you, you talk while you're going down on them? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. With your, what do you do? It's mostly it's sobbing. Fine. They say the way I sob it's really, like <laughs> really turns them on. Yeah, I bet. We're done? Yeah. Are we still going? Yep. Yeah. You're still what? on. Are we done? Nope. How about now? We're not done. I thought I heard now. the music. Oh, thank God. I thought that fucking show would never end. Let me tell you something about the fucking that run that fucking green room. What? So I feel sorry for AJ because you were kind of mean to him. AJ, you if, you, if these are all part, if these guys are all on your show. what goes on with that. These guys are all on your show. That's fine, but they're not. They're not on our show. They're guys that think they matter, and they call in to hear his arrogance like, well, let me tell you. And you got to let the guy finish, and then you attack him. Let don't. him make his point, and then You fucking... have to let the guy finish. You need the work. Why are they turning out the lights? It's like the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fuck. Oh, we're, now we're, we weren't done before. Now we're done.